What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's XCU in Review. That's right. We are reviewing every single X-Men movie in the X-Men cinematic universe every Tuesday, every Thursday. Why? Every Thursday. Who knows? At, <laughs> at, at, at uh, 9 a.m. Do you like fun? That's why, Andy. <laughs> every Thursday, 9 a.m. at YouTube.com. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny or on podcast services around the globe. You just got to search for Kind of Funny Reviews. Uh, we have a great time <laughs> doing all this. Last week we did X-Men 1, and you guys seem to like it a lot. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Leaving a lot of nice Morph. comments there. Morph. Um, keeping the views like they were for the MCU, and I'm liking that because yeah. we there was some concern. But no, people are ready. They're ready for... They, they've been waiting. Some uh-huh. would say 20 years for someone mm-hmm. to come along and rate all the X-Men <laughs> Let's talk movie. about it. Right I'm having a great time, though, because going back, it's like, it's, there's some things I'm like, oh, I like this way more than I thought yeah. I would, and there's a lot that I'm like, wow, this sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a fun time. It I is. can't wait it, to see how dark There are definitely get. parts of these movies that I thought, like, I was really looking forward to. I'm like, oh, I remember that being a really, like, great wow moment, and boy, it was just... It wasn't wow this time? There's Same no it. wow. No, no wow. wow. No wow at all. No sham wow. All right, let's get into the details here. Released on May 2nd, 2003, X2, X-Men United. Sneaky, sneaky. What a goddamn bad name. Yeah, what a X- horrible name. X2, X-Men United, yeah. Did we say X-Men United a lot, though? We just said X2. We knew what we were getting into. I feel like X-Men, X-Men United came way later. It I, was X2 the, for a while. I, I remember feel like posters. They, they did a live, die, repeat with this. Yeah. They sort of added mm, yep, it on. Yep. Because when I'm looking for images to put at the bottom... I type in X2 and it comes up under Google as X2. There's no, mm-hmm. there's nothing no, else. there's nothing afterwards. Yep. But there are, you know, other review sites that say X Men United. But it's weird that like the official Google title is just only X2. It's dumb. It's weird. real dumb. Didn't like the name then. Still also, like they really didn't unite that much. They were pretty much. <laughs> no, they did. Away. They were, they, they were like yeah. apart for the majority of the movie. But I think you're missing the no, bigger they, part. They, they, they come together at the end, yeah. and not only that, we have Magneto and Mystique from the Brotherhood uniting with, with the, the X-Men. X-Men. Yeah. All that's, the X-Men. That, that's, that's all the, the United. All of them. That's the United, right? Even morph. Even motherfucking morph. Uh, once again, directed by Brian Singer, who did the original X Men alongside Superman Returns and then later Days of Future Past <laughs> and X Men Apocalypse. A budget now of 125 million, up 50 million okay. from the first X Men movie. Box office of 407.7 million. Last movie only got 296 million. Damn, we were ready for jump. this one, man. Yeah. So uh, this one, we big old, this one, big old jump. <laughs> now, before before we get into into the plot, that I, I, I'm, I'm glad, sure we'll, we'll I'm glad you're going to say before we get into that. For the record, Jennifer Lawrence here does look like she's just wearing a face mask, right? Yeah. Like, look at that. She looks like she's got a mud mask on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she's having like, a day at yeah, the spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. It looks like one of those masks. Thank you, uh, Tim. I'm sure that's not where you're going. I apologize. I was thinking about that. I was going to bring it up later in the show, but I'm, I'm happy you did now. Uh, I just oh, wanted to go around the table and get everyone's thoughts on this movie because X2. One of the good ones, in yeah. quotes. Like, oh, yeah, this is yeah, the yeah. one that, that you know people go back to, and I was like, well, X2 was good. I myself remember it being really good. And I was yeah. like, I stand by it, and I hadn't seen it since it like first came out. I saw it like twice in theaters because I liked it that much. Uh, but I don't think I've seen it ever since. So I was excited to go back to it. And uh, I'll say it is it is not a good movie. It's and not a good movie, movie at all. It does not hold up. But the mm-hmm. one thing I want to give it a so real wait, you're shout saying out it's to not you. a good movie, period? You're not, it's not a good movie based on what we've seen now? You're saying it doesn't hold up. It's, it's for me. It doesn't hold up. Like I think the plot of the movie, the way it all like pans out, I think is gratifying. I think it's a good movie, and that's that's where I'm at. The plot right. I think is fantastic. It's cool. It's everything it's else the about execution. the movie that really sucks yeah. because they they stick with the plot. They never really go too far off of what they're they're going for. And what I really appreciate is this movie took. The small, small first movie, and was like, "Fuck it, let's just go really big." Let's go big and worldwide. I, it, it's maybe let's one of the Pitbull biggest, the biggest worldwide. jumps we've seen from in in a sequel in a superhero movie, even to this day. I think that it's like, wow, they took a small story and turned it into this like gigantic thing mm-hmm. with a whole bunch of characters that you at least understand which side everyone's on. Yeah, for me, I think that the Brian Cox was really kind of uh, instrumental in that. The striker character, and I think I think his name's Brian Cox. That's the actor that played him, right? He's so good. That he could just be like, he could just be sitting there telling you his evil plot. And you're like, yeah, man. God, fucking it. Like when he starts talking about his kid and like the wife having to drill, take a fucking power drill to her head. You're like, damn, dude, this dude's fucking dark. Yeah. And I love that. I love the actual plot of the movie. I love that there is this human who was trying to instigate this war because he wants to kill. All, like they, it's a master strategy of his and he's using mutants against humans and against each other and all that jazz. I think it's great. And I love the striker character who is like the master of kind of like puppeteer, like playing with everyone. It's just the movie. You look at it now 
after having seen 19 Marvel movies, it just feels so slow. Mm -hmm. I had to watch this thing in like two in two parts because I started actually falling asleep during it. I had the nightmare moment we've had in other movies where I paused it to go to the bathroom and I was like, there's an hour left. left. Yeah. Holy shit. There I... They're at Aqualite Lake for a long time. There are a lot of places for a long time. time. Cool, Greg, I'll warn you now. I'm going to need the dry erase marker and uh, something to erase the board with at some point. Um, I Excellent. Back in the day, <laughs> loved it in theaters, <laughs> right? Uh, had it on DVD, watched it a bunch then, too. Enjoyed it then. I started into it, and I enjoy it overall. It's I, I, I feel like we're just doing the grading on a curve now that we know we definitely like, are. The MCU and everything, where we are now with filmmaking. Back then, it, w it was just, again, what we said before, so different, but it was such a great evolution <laughs> of X-Men 1 to X-Men 2, of really, all right, cool, you know the characters, let's wrestle with some ideas. Magneto, you know, you at the end of it, we're like, maybe he's not that bad of a guy, blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's put him in with the good guys and make him do that and not show that he's not always out to kill Charles and the kids. He can work with them when their you know, uh, interests align. But yeah, it's long, and they waste a lot of time, and like... I, don't get me wrong. Uh, as you all know around here, right? Like, I make kind of funny run. I am in charge. Mm -hmm. I'm large. You're the Atlas. I'm running around here doing it, right? But in the, so I can, on many, uh, in, a lot, in a lot of ways, you guys can't. I can relate to William Stryker, all right, of running a business. Yeah, no, I can see that. I can. <laughs> but the, the 30 you are definitely minutes our William Stryker. of him stomping around Alkaline Lake, walking into different rooms, checking dials, walking out, ordering people to do this, doing this, order. He just wandered around, like, just walking in other rooms. All right, you do this. If I if anybody comes back, even me, kill me. Walks out, walks in another room, looks at security monitors, <laughs> Walks out of that room, talks to someone. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, just dude, why are we in this set we for so long? Cut. Why are we here so long? Greg, when you recap this plot, I'm gonna need you to do a real good job. Because <laughs> I was telling Kevin earlier, I hadn't seen this movie in over 10 years. Yeah. Sure. And I still don't feel like I've seen it in over 10 years because I don't remember anything about this sure. fucking movie. Yeah, like, if I'm not mistaken. I fell asleep when did you during watch it? Yeah, I was gonna say like, Saturday. Like the true Saturday. professional that you are, you fell asleep. During the movie, and chose not to go back and rewatch it. I did. Okay, <laughs> I had to rewind several times because mm -hmm. I caught myself dozing off. I was like, "Oh fuck, I miss whatever happened." And I don't even. It was just a fever dream. I don't even know if it happened. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's. It sucks because there's nothing. Like I look at the plot. I look at what the characters are doing from beat to beat. And I'm like, "There's. It all makes sense. Like mm -hmm. this is what. They, should they go to Bobby's house? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like we should see his family dynamic." Do, do I still want to kill his little fucking shithead brother every single oh, time I, I see him? I, we'll get just want to strangle him with a stupid little necklace? Yeah, I want to fucking do that. But, like, it all makes sense. It's just, if for some reason, if you were to write that plot down in a, in a paragraph, I'd be like, this is going to be the coolest fucking movie I've ever seen. And you get an hour in, you're like, man, I would watch literally any Marvel movie. Any other Marvel. I would watch the goddamn Incredible Even Hulk again. Even Thor 2? Yeah, I would rather watch that again. <sighs> Loki, I'm glad man. we did it. I'm glad me we too. watched me it too. again. Me too. It's super, super fun. I didn't and again, like, I remember hate the, it, but I was like, man, I like to do other things. I'm glad me. it was available on HBO Go. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the Iceman, Iceman uh, scene where it's them in the house and stuff. And the whole build up to that with Pyro from the beginning of the movie being one of my favorite mm. plots watching it and rewatching it. My, that but shit stands up. Makes sense. There's a lot of weird Is elements it? to it, but I love the whole house scene. I love the, the Pyro fucking losing his shit and like turning evil. It's super rewarding, and I feel like it was earned. And uh, th again, building Iceman and Rogue and all that, I really like that stuff. Yeah. When this movie first came out, I was like, not for me. It's really slow. Everyone was like, man, it's the best one. I guess they were right. But I'm happy you guys are all shitting on it now. I'm not it shitting. Is. No, no, no. I but still it's think a shit it's movie. one of the best X-Men movies that are out there. But I think I just it's feel undoubtedly like better than the original. I, I, I yeah. can't say that anymore. And we'll see where we go with the yeah, rest of them. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. I, yep. to me, I'm really like, eh, it's a step Makes back. Really but I do stand by the plot being really good. Greg, okay, yeah. what about that plot? <laughs> do we need the, do you need the dry erase? Oh, it starts right. the exact same what? way. Do you need the dry erase marker? Mutation. Not yet, but I will need the board if you want to go get it while I start okay, into this. I got you. Mutation. It happens a lot and stuff happens. That's how we, we open here. And we shat on the computer effects for the, you know, what it looked like in, inside a double helix, right? Yeah, they, they were a little better. Now, they are better now. They are much better now. Yeah. We all know that. We, mm -hmm. we saw this. We see this. We understand it. Now, Andy, you said I'm going to have to do a great job with this. I want you to know, based on the fact that I'm just 
tired from a hard wor- day of work already doing t- t- two shows. Uh, and just for the fact that there's a lot of shit in this movie, we're going to need a lot of patchwork on here. There's going to be, I'll need you to give me some liberties here and there. Don't nickel and dime me on every fucking statue right? of liberty. X-Men Thank you very one. much. Exactly. <laughs> if, and, and that's the whole thing. If she can just turn into inanimate objects, why is she ever scared of anyone coming into a room she's in doing spy stuff? Doesn't matter. Why would she turn herself into that poor guy? That was cleaning shit. That was fun. That was turning yourself into a phone. That's also you should use the fax machine. She had to get out of there though. <laughs> I digress. Mm-hmm. Yep, another uh, Professor Xavier. He's telling us more about this stuff and the mutants and the whatnots. Great. All right. Cool. So then from there, boo, we're in. And oh, here's wait. what I will do, everybody. I'm gonna ask you he politely. Oh, you know what? Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is apologize on behalf of Brian Singer, on behalf of Fox, and on behalf of the X Men, because of course. If you were a man watching this, the beginning of this movie, your dick was blown off. And if you were a woman watching this, your pussy bye, was blown bye, off. Pussy. Because we are gr- we are given <laughs> one, with that. I don't a, an amazing opening. Yeah. This oh, Nightwing night president color. shit, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, no, nearly as cool as I remember it. Yeah, not I nearly. wish I hadn't seen it again. The memory in my mind was sure. so good. Sure. It's so slow. Sure. Everything he does is so and slow. It's also that wire work shit we hate. Yeah. But it's the product of the time. Yep. We can't sit here and do this. We can't sit oh, here and hate on them for this. This is not what they did. They worked with what they had. It's in five years from now, harder. guess what? Andy will be dead. And people are going to look at party modes and go, man, the editing wasn't as good. And we're going to be like, we didn't have AI robots that could do it yet. Mm. Now we do. And we can fuck them. Ten years, fuck them while they ten do years it. prior, though, we're Jurassic fucking the Park robots? was good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jurassic Park was really good. So, anyways, I'm not going to let you bring this hate train into the okay. station. All right, okay. I'm diverting you to Chicago, mm-hmm. and I'm saying this was a great fucking opening. It, we, you didn't know what was happening in the theater at the time. Nightcrawler's got the the, the he's got white people face. He's got white face on. Mm-hmm. He's there. He's getting the tour of the White House, and it's like not on purpose that it's the white thing. We get an Abraham Lincoln quote. You know what I mean? That's kind of foreshadowing mm-hmm. the mutant human conflict and everything. Presidents. They have to find everything. Exactly. How did he have white face though? Well, it's makeup. makeup. Was makeup. it just People makeup? Wear makeup. Foundation. Yeah, yeah. Because he didn't have it later on. In it, star- it starts wearing off in the fight. Oh yeah. There's a scene where he finally doesn't have the glasses and the thing on. And he's got like just white p- person chin. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that. I, that was really confusing. Well, then maybe yeah. it's interesting that you shouldn't have an opinion on this because you didn't watch it closely enough. <laughs> uh, you know it's worth noting to the audio points. listeners who can't see this. This board looks like we slaughtered a pig on it. Maybe it's we did, bro. Maybe we did. Um. So yeah, Nightcrawler's there and he's. Pop, all over the place, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I still think that scene was it pretty was cool. fucking cool. I thought that scene Does was really look, cool. Why is he like got the wire work? Why is it slow? Because we just didn't have computers that could handle that technology at the time. All right, nobody knew what a fight scene that. should look like. Nobody knew what a fight scene. Would, none of us had seen that movie though. from Japan. No, I liked how it. scared it's not the seventies. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> I like the same. Two thousand three. Just saying, man. We didn't know. All right. We are still reeling from 9-11, if you want to throw uh, that in our she, face, too, Tim. I I you want to be a little more that. disrespectful to my country? I wasn't considering that at all. Never again. <laughs> never again. Never You're right. Again, fucking never again. Never he again. knew. He remembered. George mm-hmm. Bush threw out that first pitch, man. Killed anyway, it. so uh, eventually we pop, 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 pop. And, like, it's the bad. fucking Secret bad. Service are all over there. They're doing it, and they're, like, get, they're, they're fucking running around. Like, they're drawing a lot of West Wing-isms, too, from the hit show The West Wing, mm-hmm. where, like, the president's uh, handler looks like the woman from the West Wing, the old woman who died. Remember, yeah. she got a car accident when she finally bought a car for herself. Remember In this? The West In the West Wing. West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wing. <laughs> so, anyways, we, they all get in the old... I'm Because I fucking know... I'm just saying my opinion on this should count more, because I've watched The West Wing, all right? I understand what the presidential oh, oval office is supposed to look like. Anyways, they all double back into the Oval Office, right? And it's like, what's going on? Then you hear the gunshots and all this shit. Fucking Nightcrawler's out there. Pop, 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 pop. Then pop! Good. The door opens, and it's just like this giant, like, portal of blackness, which I didn't think was one of his powers. I'm not, I'm not, and I'm no, not the no, biggest no, Nightcrawler. That, that Nightcrawler. is his power. Okay, cool. He, like, transports to another dimension uh-huh. where he travels very quickly. Yeah. And then transports back to here. Yeah. And that's a dimension full of smoke and uh, sulfur. So there's a smell. No, no. So, well, that's that wasn't what I said. My more question was like when they opened the door and it was just a open portal, where it yeah, was they, just blue. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought I thought he had just teleported out as they opened the door. So residual. Yeah, you're saying like, the I understand there. there'd be some residual, but I think he would have had to pop, pop, pop a bunch. He of can't there. do open portals. Yeah, okay, so, I, yeah. that's what I. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, he pops in there, beats the shit out of all these Secret Service guys. It's fucking awesome. I don't care what Tim says. Don't listen to him. Don't let him come the in. Tail here. was dope as fuck. The tail was dope as fuck. He come. He almost had a life of his own. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Grabs guns. Uh, fucking got the president on the table. And president's in an awkward situation. Uh, Nightcrawler's tail gives him the, the uh, knife. He lifts up to do it. Pa, shot once in the shoulder. 
<laughs> That's a triple X. Different, different movie, right? dude. Oh, right. Really? Is that happens in triple X too? No, it was like an XXX. Like uh, like oh, X three. Oh, That's my apologies. Good. My apologies. Pretty good. Uh, I go stab him shot in the arm. That wakes up Nightcrawler. He bamps out of there or whatever. It's one Secret Service agent who is a complete bitch because a lot of these guys are complete bitches because they were just getting sweeped. It was mm-hmm. just getting leg sweeps and they're like, "I'm down. Fuck, help me. My yeah. back's out." Uh, and then if I was it, one of them. I'd stay down too. Knife falls on the table and it says, <laughs> "Mutant away. rights now." They were going to kill the president and say mutant rights sounds. Oh, my right. God. Who who could be the mastermind behind this plot? We'll get to it later. Instead, let's jump over to a museum. We're mm-hmm. at the museum. Guess what? There's uh, a bunch of dumb, shitty kids walking around. Uh, we're getting some stuff about, like, uh, Cro-Magnum mans and how they, fu- they We thought they killed the other people. Now they fucked the other people, and we all became one. Very foreshadowing of mutants. Mm-hmm. How we are all going to have to fuck mutants one yeah. day, whether we like it or not, to further the species. Yeah, we'll fuck them. <laughs> Um, <laughs> girls eating ice cream. She's licking it. And the little boy likes the girl. She sticks out her tongue. He sticks out his tongue. Sounds he's got from the first movie. He's got a fucking snail tongue. It turns out that this is a snail wearing human skin. All right, <laughs> wow, and this is why I'm twist. pro putting all these muties into a camp. No, so no, no. Just, I'm just, I'm just burn saying, them all. Yeah. Oh, burn them all. Just throw salt on all of them. All the snails. <laughs> See what happens. Wait, what do you mean the somebody from the first one? What do you mean? So there's a whole bunch of cameos, and a lot of them start in this museum scene. So I'm just going to read this whole little chunk so we know what's going sure. through. I'm jumping all around here, but uh, no Stanley cameo in this movie. Bullshit. Uh, Jubilee, Husk, Bolt, and Multiple Man were to have cameos in the scene where Stryker and his troops stormed the X-Mansion. Uh, Beast, Gambit, and Murrow were to have appearances during a sequence with Cerebro. Um, Gambit had a cameo shot, but the footage was not used in the final cut. His uh, w- name's in there. Remy LeBeau is in yep. there. Mm-hmm. When you see it, um, I wonder how he looked. Computer. Channing Tatum, just young. Beast was in this movie. I don't know if you guys know. Dr. Hank McCoy. On the thing, Dr. Yeah. Hank McCoy on the, on the TV before his skin morphed into morph. morph. Uh, and Mero was seen lying on ground in New York City. Uh, Michael Doherty and Dan Harris, the film's writers, cameo as surgeons in the scene of Wolverine's Weapon X flashbacks. Mm. Brian Singer, the film's director, cameos as a security guard in the scene where Professor X and Cyclops go to see Magneto. Uh, X-Men Evolution voice actors David Kay and Shiara Zani cameo as a TV host and tour guide in the White House. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal wanted a role in the film, but uh, was Steel. ignored by the filmmakers. <laughs> Wait, that's a weird no steal. Steel. <laughs> steel. What are you going to do? Talk, I'll steel. talk to him if he needs me to. Your friend. We're friends um, now, yeah. And yeah, one scene depicts Mystique going through the files on Stryker's computer. Singer purposefully included various names of characters and hints of storylines of X-Men lore, including Remy Remy Lowe. Lowe. Uh And the name Franklin Richards briefly appears on a computer monitor, oh. uh, who is the son of Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, who also happens to be a mutant. And uh, it's another fun thing I'm going to say now that I think we're all going to enjoy. Uh, Professor Xavier's wheelchair from the first movie was bought by a lawyer who also works in the same law firm as Patrick Stewart's attorney. When production began, the studio realized they had no chair anymore, so the lawyer rented it back to the studio as Stewart said in an interview for a significant sum. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick move. What an so asshole. Wait, why don't they lawyer? just make another wheelchair? I got that somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. I would have told them to do the opposite. They just put me in the fucking movie. Yeah. I get to be, I want to be one of the cops that gets fucked up. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would have been fun. Shut up. I don't know. <laughs> what happened? It was in there. I didn't mention the ice cream kid. It's <laughs> no, I, I guess I didn't copy and paste it. Slugworth. But he's in there. <laughs> yeah, he's in there. G- Daddy Slugworth. Uh, he's sticking his tongue out, and then one of the professors notices, and it's Jean Grey. She's like, don't do that. I think maybe it was Storm. But now whatever. Now 123-year-old woman. They're all there. Why Jean do you guys Grey. hate Jean Grey? Jean Grey oh. got, a short, got her short hair I like now. her. Also in, this movie, short hair. also in this movie, throwing me the curveball. If you remember last week on X-Men in Review, mm-hmm. I was like, well, they're married. And Tim's like, I don't think they are. And so then when they popped up here, I'm like, oh, they're not wearing rings. Tim was right. Then later on in the movie, she's like, well, I married the nice guy. I'm like, fuck. Make up your mind, singer. Someone talk to the costume department. So they are married. I was right. Tim was wrong. No big deal. This movie's good. But was it a legal marriage because he's so young? Well, no, because they're both <laughs> mutants. They don't have rights. They're less than human. We've already covered this. Kill Put them in cages. Slow the this joke, Put joke in down. Cage. Put it's like R. Kelly. You can't marry a 15 year old, 16 year old. Okay. R. Kelly married he Aaliyah. Did if you she believe, was underage. You can but succeed. did that hold up in court? No. No, I don't think so. Did they go to court over it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a point in Andy's like, eyes where I'm like, where's it going? Here we go. Oh, We're here off it is. the rails. Uh, so yeah, they're there. Guess what? Don't stick your tongue out, Toad Boy, Mute Man. We don't need your fucking shit. You know what I mean? Snail, <laughs> Snail, <kid>. Snail, <laughs> Snail, Snail, Snail Boy and Basketball Kid. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, okay, lots of, I need the origin story of them. Yeah. Lots of love a basketball kid. Thank you so much, Let's everybody who listens to the show special. watches it. Uh, they're all doing their fuckery around there and like, all right, don't do this shit. Great. And then uh, Jean Grey's sitting there. She starts wigging out. She starts hearing people and everything. She's uh, they're jumping around. That's all the stuff. Yeah, you know. The I mean? editing there was so bad. I hated it. You know what? Again, it's the sign of the times. The fast. All right. That, that let you know what's happening in her mind. I'm sorry, this is above you. I'm sorry, this is above you. Yeah, this movie's right. too smart for me, dude. <laughs> she starts wigging out the TVs and the computers that are old as shit. Mm -hmm. Cyclops notices he comes over. He's like, Gene, what's wrong? And she's like, uh, yeah. got a dumb face. Are you okay, Gene? All right, don't make fun of Gene's face, all right? I can't help it. Okay. It's a dumb face. Can't face. see his eyes. He what do you want to do? Some dumb what do you want to do? Can't see his eyes. Not he's much. He has to no. emote no. without his most precious asset. It looks no. like Kevin's trying to cosplay him. You don't him say right that. Now. You don't say that. <laughs> She's dead. Oh, that was terrible. We'll get to that scene later. Though. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it turns out Jean hasn't been the same since the Statue of Liberty. Her powers have been all wonky wonk. She used to struggle to levitate a book. Now she can fucking rattle the room when she fucking has sex or sleeps. I forget which it was. Sleeps. sleeps. Okay. Nightmare. I was joking. Yeah. <laughs> um, she starts crying. She's also wearing a lot of jewelry. A lot of, mm. lot of necklaces and stuff here. Very interesting look for her. And they, in her hair is short. They hug and they, she's crying there. And then they come over and like, we can't find fucking Rogue and Bobby or whatever. And the pyro kid we're not going to mention is there too. Okay. And so we jump over to the food court. Oh, that, well, Gene did the whole thing of like, I can't, you know, oh, they're over in the food court. Something's happening. We jump over there, and it turns out the two guys from Supernatural are there. Very young, <laughs> and they're not having this. <laughs> and true. they're like, give me a smoke. And Pyro is an asshole. Yeah. Fucking straight up, this kid deserves the camp I keep talking about. Yeah, all right? Dude, Calm the down with the camp. Put him in the cage. A lot Put of mutant in assholes in this movie. There are. Yeah. They have it coming. You know what I mean? Anyways, he won't give him the light, but he keeps playing with the lighter. First off, I don't know if you can smoke in a museum. Even back then, this doesn't seem like someone you could do. But whatever. It's They're New all York. eating their pasta salad, too. Why are these three mutants eating pasta salad at a museum? I got a lot of questions. Products of the time, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. You muties enjoying your stupid pasta salad. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the rumors that they're you true. And you know, you and I would have been those two asshole kids. Muties only eat pasta salad. <laughs> yeah, 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 you eat that pasta salad. <laughs> Creeps there looking down Rogue's shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, eh. it's like a weird face, right? You know, yeah. whatever. Anyways, though, uh, they steal the lighter from Pyro. Uh, then the other guy holds back Pyro. Then the guy lights a cigarette. Then Pyro makes the cigarette explode, kind of, and he falls down and catches on fire. And Pyro laughs. And then Bobby just, woo, does his Ice Man stuff, ices him up, and then everything freezes. Mm -hmm. And Rogue's like, what did you do? And he's like, nothing. You <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, that's good. What did you do? What did you do? A fun Rogue fun fact here, here we go, Greg, finally. for you. Yeah. Uh, most the character Rogue, whose real name has never been revealed since her introduction in the comics in 1981, wow. was given a name for this film, Marie de Acanto. Comic writer Chris Claremont, Rogue's creator, has used his name since the movie's release in the Extreme X Men comic, but for a different character. Extreme. I didn't know that that Me she didn't either. have a name. No, good for her. Shit. She's like <laughs> Superboy in that. She's you know, remember this one when, when Superman course. gave uh, Superboy the clone. Yeah. You know, Con Connor, my mm -hmm. guy, mm -hmm. my guy, Connor gave him that name, of course, in the Su Superboy annual when he was still in Hawaii. This is after, obviously, Death and Return, because that's what brought Superboy back into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And after the Superman was back. And it, always people thought it was a filler comic. I almost cried talking to you about this, right? Wasn't this the yep. last comic book club? Yeah, yeah of course, it was just it, a great one. It was yeah. up. Well, I know you watch everything we do here. Yeah, so. Of course, this is before uh, New 52, if you want to do this. I can find the issue for you and bring it up to you. So... And at times frozen, what did you do? And he's like, nothing, I'm just icy. Yeah. <laughs> Froze time. And then, yeah, Xavier wheels up. Uh, he was fucking there. Okay, cool. Every, yeah, everybody was there. Very fucking Great. weird. Everybody, everybody came to the field trip. Good for them. He's a teacher, too. He was... Sure. He's like the headmaster, though. You know yeah. what I mean? No, he's got a physics class. We learned that last time. Yeah, remember? but that's like for the cool kids. Ah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's like, you know, next time you think about doing that, don't. Or so next time you want to show off, don't. And he's like, don't be fucking prick idiot, prick idiot. And uh, then we look over on the TV, and guess what? TV someone. Here's where, uh, I know we're going to have questions because you guys tried to talk about this beforehand. I want to point out a few things here. They froze time for everyone there. The w one boy was on a cell phone. You could mm -hmm. hear the mom and the other, and go, are you still there? Are you still there? And then the TVs kept going. Well, this will all be important in 30, well, the way I do it in an hour and a half when we get to the rest <laughs> of this part. Mm -hmm. uh, look over there. Guess what? There's been an attack on the president, and I'm pretty sure it's Cyclops that says we should go, Professor. And he's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, How did y'all? Did y'all take the jet here? I don't know. I don't. I don't get to find Probably out. Just a school bus. They just fucking go. Again, 
We're playing fast and loose with everything, everybody. Yeah. I believe this is where we'll go back to the president's office. Either that or we go to Magneto's cage, but I can't remember which. I think president's uh, office. President's, then Man- yeah, Magneto's president's cage. office first. We go yeah. to the president's office where guess there. And guess what? Oh. Uh, William Stryker is there. You might remember him as the principal from Rush Hour. Or no, not Rush Hour. Uh, Rushmore, right? Wasn't he the principal in Rushmore? Not who didn't, who didn't like uh, Max? Pretty sure. Rushmore? I yeah, Rushmore. Oh, no, no. Give me a search. I just okay. want to watch Rush Hour now. I didn't bring my phone. Fuck me too. Well, just to I got it. I got, I got it. I got it. Okay, you keep cool. going. You keep going. Uh, and he's scratching the desk. Oh, it was closer than they wanted us to believe. Hey, Mr. President. He's like, yeah, you know, whatever. Fucking mutants were in here. And he's like, here, well, I'm going to, I got a plan for these mutants. I don't like mutants. And he's like, okay. He let me introduce my good friend, Senator Kelly. And guess what? There he is. Harry and the Henderson's but he's dad dead. is back. <laughs> Harry and the Henderson's dad is back. Yeah, you're right. So I don't like that you refer to him yeah. as Harry and the Henderson's dad when clearly he is the alt dad. Because John Lithgow was, in fact, Harry and Henderson's dad. Well, it's rare right, that you right. see a made-for-TV sitcom based on a movie be better than the movie, but Harry and the Henderson's, the TV show, yeah, better than the movie. I'm going to need you to try to swallow that was dry it TV erase show or TV movie? Hole. TV show. Oh, this was an ongoing series of Harry and his yeah? antics with the Henderson's. But then uh. do you get the scene where he, like, kicks him out? Every well, episode. No, I mean, like, you know. At the <laughs> end of every episode, he's like, no, I don't like you anymore. Because that's an Harry important scene. Going. But I mean, you know, they change a little bit for it. But at the end of the series, on the series finale, it turns out he's just a tall guy. Turns out he's shaved. <laughs> just our meeting. Just <laughs> Rick from next door. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Gia is super confused at this scene. Sees this guy and she's like, he died. How, did he, how is he back? Oh, she what? doesn't remember. And I'm just like, it's Jesus. so weird. How do you not, for somebody yeah. that like, we're so like, oh, obviously it's Mystique. Yeah. But it's just like for someone that doesn't understand. But I mean, like, she also saw well, the movie last I, I know, week. So it's I know, a little concerning. But that's why you she, flash she the yellow eyes. Then she's yeah, like, that's oh. true. Oh. And I'm like, right. damn. Got the yellow eyes. That's flash. fascinating. So yeah, we get, uh, he walks in there, but he's really Mystique. So he's all, he's playing for the muties now, right? Mm-hmm. Crawling on walls and shit. No, no, no. Not, not no, that not far. Yet. Not that far. Okay. Not that far. Just being like, hey, you know what? Maybe they aren't all bad. I figured out. Uh, and, and fucking Striker's like, guess what, though? There's a fucking secret recruitment camp up there in uh, West, not Westchester, right? No. That, West I think it's, I think it's West. West no, no. That's a dog that's show. A we just threw Snail Kid in there. <laughs> it was Westchester. <laughs> Westchester County. I'm yeah. right. Good. Westchester? Uh, Did you just no, Google Westchester. It? You'll see later. I'm, I, okay. I have a whole all right. thing. Okay. All right. I, I, this is the most <laughs> annoying thing about this movie to me, and I'll get to it later. Go for it. Go for it. Um. So yeah, he's it, just it, and then Senator Kelly's like, it's not a recruitment center. It's just a school. And he's like, what about this? And like, what's that? It's a jet under the basketball court. Fucking dope. <clears throat> yeah, That's making some cool. really strong points. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm all about that. I see what you're up to. Yeah. Fuck them up. That would have blew up in the case. Like I bet you that was exciting for them to be like, oh shit. Yeah, totally. Like yeah. And so yeah. the president, like the weak-willed bitch he is, is like, all right, cool. Just go up there. Don't kill him. Question, detain, don't kill I don't want a dead mutant. Like the weak willed bitch that he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you would have preferred guns blazing. He No, I mean some fucking fat William Stryker runs in rubber here's this thing, and I'm like, alright, you know what? Just go up to this school and fuck him up on American soil. I'd be like, well, okay, okay. there's so you're due arguing, process and a few okay, things okay. I need to jump Go through ahead. before Maybe I allow you the and the FBI fucking first. Navy cool. SEALs to go up there right, in a cool. nighttime mission. The guys with the worst face paint I've ever seen in my entire life. Why do they need that much face paint? Like, just They're mutants. They're dark. fighting mutants. They're fighting mutants. You know, Nobody know. knows what they're getting into. You just can't see your face paint. It's a great point. It's a great mm-hmm. point. Predator. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, cool. That's what's going on. That's what he's going to do. All right, well, I guess that's what he's going to do. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, fine. And then I think maybe this was before then, maybe not, but stick with me. Wolverine, he's up there. We know him as Logan, right? What? Just to, to rewind a bit. At some point, I want to say it's the opening scene of this movie. We see Wolverine all bopping oh, around Alkali. Alkali Lake. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think he's about oh, to do that now. I was going to combine him because I don't remember when it happened. Got the it. opening scene I thought for sure was the Nightcrawler. We're no, fucking I badass. think no, after, at some Wolverine's point, first. either before or after it? that, he yeah. goes and he realizes that there's nothing there. That's what he thinks. I think. I think we hear it's he like, sees the wolf. Da, 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 da. Which, by the way, X Men soundtrack underrated. Oh, Not it's as great. Well as I thought it was. It's great. Uh, but yeah, then you go in. I'm pretty sure it, like, it opens on the lake, and you yes, see him going, does, going, yeah. walking through, and then it cuts okay. to the White House. Now, what's, Not that it matters. I blocked out this. Yeah, the sure boring he? scene of hey, I'm Wolverine. A long time ago, they told me to go up here. I'm here in Alkali Lake. It sounds like Alkali. I picture him talking to the camera like, hey, I'm Wolverine. They told me. But there's a key thing we got to point out here. Say this: the fucking wolf man. Before we go into any of any further, it needs to be said, Andy. Give it to me. Which one? Waking out. Is it a wig? 
I don't know. We're wigging out with Scarpino. Now, there was a while back when I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole trying to figure out if, in fact, Hugh Jackman ever wore a wig as the Wolverine. You would think so because that fucking bouffant he has the entire time <laughs> is just day? unbelievably big. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. Most of the time, it's his natural hair, including in Logan, which I thought was a wig as well, but I think they just, they just sculpted his hair a little bit. But certain key scenes in X2, uh, what I read on this article, were, in fact, like reshot. What? Fuck you. They for sure start at the White House, then go to Alkaline Lake. Thank you, Wikipedia. Pop, pop, crunch shop, scrunch shop. Yeah, he Long got story you, short, dude. if I'm not mistaken, I don't know which scenes they, they, they decided to put a wig on his head, but the first few scenes where he's at Alka- Alkali Lake, hit it's so egregiously bad. It looks like he's wearing a Frankenstein helmet on the top of his head. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Wait. And they even had to like like draw in his mutton chops. And then it cuts to another scene where he sees the wolf, and it's clearly like the scene that they shot. I don't so remember it's this just wolf bad. scene at all. Speaking of which, Ron Howard's green screened a lot in Arrested Development season five. Oh my god, right, so we much. On. Well, we're not watching. It's that. not even here's done what well I'll, either. Here's what I'll do, Tim. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is I also, think we uh, might find common ground, much like the Brotherhood and the X Men right yes. now, in the way that I think what happens is we open cold open with White House. Then get your and then go to Alka Lake. Mm-hmm. Also, it's no. It yeah. should be worth noted that whatever marmot that climbed onto Halle Berry's head on this needs to be taken out <laughs> back and shot because that was a bad wig. They so got rid of the accent fucking real quick. Oh, oh, good, like, no yeah, accent at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I, I thought the wig no, was good. better this yeah. time. Than last it was time. way better than last time. And it may have been extensions. Wig I'm not steps. quite sure, but it was wig still steps. it was still noticeably <laughs> bad. Did Storm have an accent in the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know why I don't even remember that. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't think it was that strong. I think she it just had a, strong. like, robust voice. You know? <laughs> a robust voice. Big yeah. Kid. A big kid with a robust <laughs> voice. <laughs> she, yeah. she a big kid? Okay, okay. So now looking at that Wikipedia thing, we already left out some key things. <laughs> and you would think that this is happening too fast for a movie that's this slow. But no, it did. So anyways, yeah, he had been up at Alka High Lake. Like, after the, the fucking president attack, they went back to the X-Mansion where they broke into teams to go investigate all this shit. Mm, where they yes. sent right. they sent uh, Gene and Storm after Nightcrawler in Boston. And instead, uh, then what, Scott and uh, 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 Charles Xavier were going to go check in on Magneto. Mm-hmm. Right Now, here's where I need the board already. And Magneto, I need to, I'm sorry. Magneto, by the way, getting his his shit pushed in every night by the <laughs> Jesus. by the security guard. Yeah, audio yeah. listeners, uh, Greg's about to write on the whiteboard right now, and Andy is gonna narrate it all. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Also, yeah, shout out to uh, Kelly Hugh who plays Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, sure. Are you gonna give her a shout out? Yeah, because she went down. I'm gonna take a negative ah, shout out. You sh- you're gonna she take an L on that. Sucks, she lo- you take an L on that one. Character. This is very um, estimated. Hold on, everybody. hold on, hold on. Why are you why are you moving while I'm on it? Because I want to see. Well, now it's even worse. All right, so Something Greg like is this, currently this, drawing. All right, now this is what we like to call. Is it a cliff or a sun? The United States. No, this is this is the this. We're over on the east coast of the United States mm-hmm. here. Okay, all right. Fantastic. And again, this is all approximate. It doesn't matter for. I mean, like you can go look up a map anytime you guys want to. Sure, all right, Google it. Here is what is it? It's Westchester. We decided. Yeah, mm-hmm. New York. Westchester, New York. Right. Cool. And then up here in Massachusetts is a little place called Boston. Boston. Yeah, they drive there in about a minute. Uh, well, yes, that's a great point. If you were to get into a car, I've done the research here. I'm putting a little car there. That's a car. All right? Mm-hmm. A car, Andy, is a little over three hours. Three hours plus. A three-hour drive. Three-hour plus. Uh, what, traffic and all that? Sure. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's say we had something they like to call the X-Jet. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. That's great. He's drawing like a 1940s uh, bomb. <laughs> looks like Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm going to... I'm gonna just so you understand this is the extra I'm putting Cyclops in it. Oh great! But so understand, yeah. you gotta make him look more like a bitch. No. Give him a dumb face. There he is, dumb face. Dumb face. Oh, you actually nailed that. So, again, Cyclops is so cool. Though, what you man. need to know is that for some, again, in a very long, very slow moving movie, immediately they're like, we need to break into teams. Storm and Gene get in the X jet. Go to Boston because they went and did the Cerebro thing. They find Nightcrawler right. and he's hanging out in Boston. Go find him or whatever, right? And they're like, good. And it, here's the weird thing, actually, now that I think about it, is they didn't. Instead, they were like, get in the X jet and circle. Just circle. I'm going to find him and I'll tell you where to go. Calculation. Because it is Storms very much. A fucking 1983 computer. They need to go in there. They said they couldn't track him and they had some he was, other method. Because he was right? popping around. Because he was popping around. What was the other method? They, they were looking just out more the window. Cerebro. More, more you, cerebro. You think so? They had to wait for him to stop moving. More repro. More repro. No, yeah. As they Eventually, call. he gave up, and they were like, "Oh, he just he settled got down in the church whatever. and started yelling." Right. All right. Right. You can put it down for a second. I just wanted to establish this is what we're dealing with. We're okay. all everything's on the East Coast, and it's a three-hour drive. 
All right, keep that. They put a pin in that. You don't know where I'm going with it, but it's going to be important later mm-hmm. on. Okay. Um, so yeah, like we, let's break into teams. Let's all go do this. Uh, they're like, cool, we're going to fucking do that or whatever. And you know, Charles and fucking Cyclops, they just go off and do their shit. Meanwhile, fresh from Alkali Lake, fucking Wolverine, the Logan walks in. You know what I mean? He rides backwards. <laughs> Wolverine, the Logan. Yeah. <laughs> but Rogue's, Rogue's playing Thumb War with her boyfriend, Bobby, right? Mm-hmm. And Bobby wants to be playing Hide the Slime. <laughs> Bobby's trying to get, dude. <laughs> Bobby's trying to get in there God. so God. hard. I just got so blind right there. Bobby's trying to play Hide the Slime. Dude, he's taking the fucking skin boat down to Tuna Town, man. No, he's he trying can't. to get in there so hard. He can't, though. Yeah. A lot of people on the subreddit are bringing up a lot of good options here. Condom Condoms. in a full like man yeah. like one of those green man suits kind latex of latex glove. Just okay. a condom. A lot of yeah, lube and a latex on no, dude. A condom. No way. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that whatever. religion that requires you to cut a hole in the blanket? Yeah. Yeah. Mormon it happens Mormon's in the handmaid's yeah. tale too. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Spoilers. They do that, they do that in Kurt enthusiasm, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of ways they could get around this, but they're dumb kids. We've all been yeah. there. We're dumb kids. We understand. I what about like, blowies, though? You think he's getting handy all the time? You sheet for that, but you well, put it on your mouth. Yeah, it No, because when... What happens oh, is Nick. she hears the motorcycle, rushes over there, Wolverine comes in, the Logan. <laughs> the Logan, yeah. And she's like, ah, oh, Logan, so good to see you. <laughs> and, so good. and she's like, ah, oh, by the way, this is Bobby, the boyfriend. And he shakes his hand and then freezes him a little bit. Cool, Bobby. That's yeah. cool. I yeah. like that yeah. a lot. Wolverine, cool. by the way, gonna really? fuck you up. I thought that was you, fucking stupid. It's I hated that. Well, that's dumb. Kid. He's that's a dumb kid. Though. And, 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 and much like the audience, he understands Rogue has some kind of connection to Logan, but what? We don't know. And it's fucking it's weird, sexual. man. Yeah. It's, it is undeniably sexual. The, 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 the relationship dynamics in this are so, like, pedestrian, right? Like, by the end of the story, there's that line where he's like, hey, you should know. She did make her choice. It was you. I would fucking right there take him off and burn him. Yeah, I'd be like, no shit, She's dude. fucking she dead, and she was my wife, shit. kind of. She was my wife. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Like that, it, man. All that no stuff chemistry. is just, it was like it was written by a kid who never dated anyone Yes, before. I was about it was to say so that. Bad. <laughs> I was just about it was to say so that. so bad. Anyways, freezes it, but he says there, like, he's like, how's that work? And he's like, oh, it's complicated. We don't know what we're working on. You know what? Female condoms is what I was thinking. Then, of. meanwhile, Storm Fire. walks in. She's just like, Fire oh, thing. hey, yeah, you know, like, we are good. We need you. We need a babysitter. I'm like, what was that? I mean, and then Jean Grey comes down. She's got all the necklaces on, short hair. <laughs> yeah. She's really and slow. She's like, hey, Logan. Around. Like, oh, and they talk for a while, and they're too close. They're just too close. It's not, shouldn't be this close. Do they kiss around. again? Mm. Not they do. here. Mm. No. But not here. Yeah. Anyways. But why the, would she be attracted to him? Like, what has he he's done? He's the bad boy. She explains it. She's the bad boy. Or he's the like they, had, they never had any Logan. moments where Logan. she was like, oh, this guy's like really kind of fucking dope. He like held her hostage the yeah, first time. Well, it wasn't on purpose. No, I know, but I'm saying like she might have liked that. It's oh, just not her. Cyclops oh. doesn't play rough. No, oh, God, no. That's, like, oh, sick, you know? that's the one thing that didn't happen enough. <laughs> is like with the and I don't I don't think it happened in the cartoon. You could tell me if it happens in the Marvel comic books at all. Did they but, fuck? Like, <laughs> with with the animosity between Logan and Cyclops, like I would I'd blast him a lot. It's like, fuck the, off. The thing is, the movies, not as cool do, as you think. the movies do a really bad job of Cyclops' character at all because Cyclops is the leader and it's very much the Iron Man, Tony, or sorry, Iron Man, Captain America yeah. thing. Where it's like, Captain America is the fucking leader. Yeah. Everyone likes Iron Man more, but Captain America is the fucking leader. Cyclops is the fucking leader. And he does a lot of things that is like he leads the team. He is the the, the boy scout. He's the shot and in, caller. But in these movies, you don't see that. You just see him as his bitch ass. He's dude. just like a sidekick. He's, he feels yeah. like a sidekick. In the comics, they and that's him like why crazy. With, with him and Wolverine, you never get that. It never feels earned because yeah. it's not. Instead of it being Tony Stark, Captain America, yeah. it's like Tony Stark and and Bucky in the first Captain. America He kind of reminds me of a uh, like. Uh, Chris O'Donnell's Robin in in Batman Forever, mm. or was it Batman and Robin? Where Batman he's just, Batman he's Batman just Robin. kind of like this, like uh, actually, no, oh, actually, he's both. both. He's this both. punk yeah. ass kid who, you know, like that's what he reminds me of. Yeah. Just like this guy who wants to rebel. You Again, know? I think I really do think that came out of casting. I don't, I don't dislike James Marsden. I like him actually a lot as an actor, but I just feel like he was way too young for that role. They needed to cast someone who could command a presence a lot more, and then actually give him uh, some dialogue and some things well, to I mean, do that were thing, actually right? well, fascinating. I think, was, I think it was the writing because yeah, it, even Storm feels more senior than him. Yeah. Everyone feels more senior than him. Well, I mean, let's not let's, let's just call a spade a spade and do it right now. We're jumping around. You've seen the fucking movie. You don't care, or you just don't care, and you're just here to hear us be funny. Uh, Again, Xavier and uh, fucking Cyclops bop off again very early in this movie to go fucking talk to Magneto, right? And once Cyclops blasts two humans 
with no singes at all. I didn't know you could. Can he dial his stuff down to no, be? Yeah, I'm he assuming can. He can. He can. Yeah. Okay. Also, it it's doesn't. Not laser. Yeah, it doesn't create heat. It's like a propulsion. It's like yeah, a, it's a percussion wave. Yeah. Wow, this is really so. It's explained. like a. It pushes things. Yeah. So how does he like cut through stuff all the time? Because it pushes, pushes hard. It pushes real hard. hard. It's like a pressure washer. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming it's like that'd be even cooler because it's really stupid uh. that his eyes channel something from a red dimension. If he just had a pressure washer eyes, I'd be like, I get it. <laughs> yeah, just water. <laughs> just hard water. I get it. Your tear ducts <laughs> are water, X's. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It'd be really so, handy for cleaning all the graffiti off of walls. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah but somebody should. Huh? Is the buff. <laughs> Some say graffiti people are as bad as the muties, but I digress. <laughs> I just saw Cool Greg's eyes, and he just sunk down below the monitor. Anyways, in this very long movie, very early on, Cyclops just gets gone. taken out like a bitch yeah. by Lady Deathstrike. Stupid. And then just is gone for like majority of the movie, and then it pops up at the end to be fucking blow up the day. But she was, was we'll so unnecessary. We'll get there. Oh, movie. yeah, totally, totally. And, we'll and it's like, it was such just marketing shit of like, yeah. we're going to give another Wolverine, but it's going to be a girl, and she's going to be hot, and it's going to be fucking fingernails. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I left her out. She was outside of the president's office cracking we, her knuckles. Yeah, we got the fingernails yeah. just... Uh, I love that the just seems like cracking. so painful to try to attack somebody. Sure. I, how, does even, how, how does it even work? Well, they're adamantium, so whatever. They're just like big scissor fingers. Yeah, I, I like that part. Uh, it looked like cone shaped, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's true. It's true, weird. True. Well, so that's what his was supposed to look like. I digress. I so guess what? It's time to go fucking do this. Jean Grey, like uh, Storm, they get in the X jet again. A three hour drive. Three hour and not a hundred percent sure where they're going when they get in the air. I believe I might have forgotten already, but it doesn't matter. Eventually, Wait, are you saying it's three hour flight? No, a drive. You can drive between these places in three hours. Right, so we assume how long would it take the X jet to get from? Great question. We'll minutes. get back to that in a second. Like 30, 30, 40 40 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Xavier's like he's in Boston. We're going to Boston. They get in Boston. They're going to Boston. And then Scott and Xavier, we're going to go see Magneto. Meanwhile, we had already gotten over to Magneto's little prison cage or whatever, where Stryker shows up and he wants to know more about this X mansion or whatever. And they push his head down. And, they, and he does this thing with his. Head. Mm-hmm. fingers trying to grasp a table and like you're like man you know what magneto i don't always like what your goals are but i respect you and i don't like see you see you get you treated this way yeah. this scene. is what you were afraid of with the whole nazi thing in, mm-hmm. in the first one here you are yeah mm-hmm. how dare they was this, his though? fault though well you know? sure yeah i mean he was a bad guy he got put in a prison and then guess what there's bad guys in prison too mm-hmm. like i don't know yeah. there's how do you solve crime? Fucking weird know. goopy shit on their neck no, that of shit looks no, painful no. Yeah, it, it, it kind of sizzles and burns yeah, yeah uh, like it left the yeah. ring shape on it yeah, 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 yeah. it's like when i used to play mario room. party too much on n64 yes, oh, yeah. and you yeah. cut out the palm yeah, yeah. exactly anyways then I'm jumping around. Scott and Xavier show back up, and they're like, yo, what's going on? And they, Scott sits out there, and like Xavier's like, let him. And the, the fat guard's like, no, shit. He's just like, thanks. And they go out there, and they get in the prison. And they and, you know, Charles rolls on in. He's protecting his face. And then Eric turns around. He's all fucked up. He's all bruised face. And he's like, oh, my God. What Which, happened? At first, I didn't notice it was bruised. <laughs> like, oh, really? I guess mm-hmm. just like something about the lighting or maybe the TV sure. situation was too bright in the room. Oh. But when he kind of freaks out, I was like, what is he freaking out? And I was like, oh, right, right. he mm-hmm. got punched. Yeah, I got the I, shit kicked out. Yeah, of yeah a just, lot of times. I couldn't notice like the purple bruising. On right. Yeah, I don't know. By the way, Nightcrawler happened before this, but nobody cares. We'll get back to that. Uh, so then uh, Xavier's like, "What happened? What's going on?" Blah 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 blah. And, and, and Magneto kind of plays like a dick for a while before finally giving in and kind of being like his lower li- lip wobbling of like, "I'm sorry, I told him everything," kind of thing. And then the gas starts coming. And Xavier's like, "Scott, oh, you should have killed me when you had the chance." That's awesome, Scott. Yeah. yeah, he yells for Scott. You know, it's like. I hear you. Don't get me wrong. The gas is coming in the room. There's going to be a moment of panic before I go, wait a second. I'm the most powerful telepath in the world. Open the but door. I can sleep. tell Scott to do this. Mm. I can tell the other mm. guys to fucking unstop the gas. I can tell. I mean, like, I Magneto's powers. Time. I Magneto's can freeze the whole fucking museum. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Magneto's powers, sure. He's, they've, they've figured out the radius, which they figured out like that, of like how far Magneto has to be away from metal. Okay, sure. He's a... Yeah, he frees an entire museum. I don't think those guys are far as away as the other people in the museum. I digress. Plastics whatever. make it possible. Man. Maybe he just freaks it out. They do. Yeah. And they, we, he's screaming at the glass, and then Scott's going to blast, and of course he doesn't because he's Cyclops, and he sucks in this movie. And I, Maybe he just sucks in general. Doesn't blast. Lady Deathstrike pops in. They fight for a, a quick second after he blasts the guards. Again, like the guards just got plastic batons. Mm-hmm. If I saw Tim on the other end of the fucking football field getting uh, attacked and gassed, I'd be like, hold on. All right, now I'm ready to fight. Like, this is a two second motion. Yeah. Go ahead and hit me in the fucking knee. I don't care. I'm going to turn around and not laser you in half, apparently, but propulsion you in half. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means for yeah. the red dimension. Fucking X Men. Anyways, 
He takes care of those guys, but then the yeah, Lady Death Strike shows up. She doesn't bring out the nails. She just does some kick flips and shit and like a weird <laughs> fucking move. I assume Nick does when he goes to Taekwondo. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. And okay. people are down. They're just all down. <laughs> like it's just picture doing. It's oh sure, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Charles puts his head against the glass. He's out cold. Mm. We'll get back to them later. Again, this happened chronologically before them, but nobody cares. We show up in Boston. Fine. So <clears throat> the jet. We've gone from. Uh, Westchester, New York, to Boston, Massachusetts. We're there. Congratulations, everybody. They walk into a church. They find Nightcrawler. He's fucking awesome again. I don't care what Tim says. No, so this scene is is another one that I was also slightly disappointed by because I remember Nightcrawler being really cool in this movie, both the opening scene mm -hmm. and this church scene, because the imagery used is awesome. Obviously, a church that already has kind of a the one candle lit, yeah, it. yeah, all that, that all that type of stuff. All the circus posters, like there's so much backstory and lore going into this, and Nightcrawler being such a fucked up character and being a blue character, which means he can't just live his life like a normal mutant, also looking like a demon. Like there's so much cool shit there. And I just feel like this movie shit the bed with making that stuff cool. And then mm -hmm. later mm -hmm. tying it into like Mystique, like, are you his dad? Are you or his mom? Are you not? Like, I. Yeah. Such, such a dumb so thing. So Why would they even do They're that? They're both blue. Yeah. They're Wait, well, blue. I, don't, I missed this all together. So in the uh, 96 um, the cartoon. cartoon, Mystique is his mom. What, so what does the movie have to tie in? In the, the movie. There's, they they hint at that in the first class, right? Well, in no. first class, but also in this movie, there's a scene where they're talking when they finally get to the um in the, when they're in the forest. Yeah, is it true? Yeah. You uh, into in, uh, in, uh, not intimidate, imitate anybody, even the voice, even the voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I remember they're gonna be like, just, just are like you my mommy them together and whatever. And I, I mean, I even remember like people talking about that after oh, that movie. Yeah. I read out. that as like more of a ooh, maybe we could get when, together connection. When X two came out, I don't think anyone was making that connection though. They were. Wasn't the bigger but thing? But it's just because no one knew how old she was. But wasn't the bigger thing that like Mystique is Rogue's mom in the comics or, or the old adoptive mom? Uh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see, I read that scene more as just like a hey, why would like I I thought that scene was actually really poignant when he was like, yeah, why don't you yeah. just hide? And she's like, why should we have to? Mm -hmm. And then like, she walks off, and yeah. I thought I she I read it very much as like oh, I'm kind of attracted well, to her. She's that, cool. She's powerful. I feel like that makes perfect sense for this movie. But later when we watch the X Men movie, the first class and the other one, like. I'm pretty sure that's his. That's her kid. It's weird that there's no. It's with the kid yeah. and we with, haven't uh, seen it for a long time. But with the red Absol, Nightcrawler, Absol, yeah. yeah, the red one, <laughs> mm. whose oh, only goal sense. in life is to have as many kids as possible. It's fucking dope. But aren't those movies a soft reboot? Because that's my thing. When I was like, oh man, it's kind of cool. The Days of Future Past fixes fixes all this shit. And everybody's like, it doesn't really. They soft rebooted. Blah, blah. I'm like, no, they didn't. Like nobody knows. I, no one's ever had a conversation. I think it's cooler. Just think it's one timeline. Also, totally like a little unrelated. I think Mystique in this movie, her makeup looks so much better than Jennifer Lawrence's does in the future movies. Yeah, that's because you know, Jennifer Mudmask? Lawrence yeah. fucking hated it. After the first one, she was like, I'm done. Make it easy. Some some trivia I had for sure that I didn't put in here, but like all the makeup for Nightcrawler and Mystique was like a ridiculous thing where like Nightcrawler in the church scene. Six hours. It was 10 hours of, of makeup just because that was the only scene you see him from the waist up. Yeah. You know, uh, with it looks scene. great. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. I like Nightcrawler. I like this scene. Uh, granted, it's a, 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 you know, photo in time kind of thing of like, okay, some of the effects or whatever. And like, you know, whatever. Storm's just lightning bolting through a church. Like, why are you fucking up this church, man? You gotta be. They don't can't care. we just talk they him just down? Getting this guy. And this is what I'm talking about with these muties. They don't care. No respect. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah. You know Take what I mean? Down. I'm Take not gonna out. be a fucking pawn in their game, all right? Don't need him. Huh? JC. Oh, yeah. They hurt my boy JC. I agree. Yeah. JC's the original mute. My Beauty. boss is what? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's right. No. He, he could walk on water. And Dude, yeah. Turn shit into shit. All right. So yeah. let's jump back to Westchester, New York. Uh, turns out everybody, guess what? Wolverine can't sleep. He's Wolverine. Because they're at the mansion, yeah. right, Greg. Last two Easter eggs for sure, you. Sure, having to do with the mansion. Uh, the mansion used for the school also appears as Lex Luthor's home in Smallville. Oh, I know. Yeah. What did you recognize it? Like, can you just tell from? Ah, uh, no. It, I mean, like I saw there's so much a time difference between that, but I remember when Smallville started up and somebody made that connection. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, sure. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, uh, most of the exterior shots of the Xavier Mansion were recycled from the first movie because there was no budget for them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. It doesn't matter. It's just a mansion. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine can't sleep, so he goes downstairs and he go, ends up in the. He walks down and guess what? There's old Blinky Boy. He thought if you, if, you enjoy, if you enjoyed mutants such as Basketball Boy mm -hmm. and Snail Man, yeah. <laughs> let me and tell you about Blinky Boy. One of, the, one, of the, one of the few mutants to be in uh, one, two, and three. Uh, the whole X Men trilogy. Uh, wow, good for Who him. Who was he? In, was he in one just blinking? Yeah. Fucking dumb. On, on the basketball court or no? Oh, I think he's shooting on the basketball court. He is the kid that though. we thought was basketball boy. 
He also has blink powers. No. I mean, we need to get a verification. Wait, wait, wait. Basketball <laughs> man is blinking? No, yeah. they're different people. I'm pretty sure they're the same kid. Boy. It's a crazy laugh. Boy, right? Backstory. Man. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, Wolverine walks in there. I don't know if I'm sleeping in this place. He's like, I don't need to sleep or whatever. And he's like, I'm Wolverine. And he walks out and he goes in the kitchen, right? And he's like, uh, and uh, guess who's in there? Now, uh, here's where we go. Iceman's in there. What's he doing, though, Greg? Eating ice cream. Hell yeah, he is, because he's Iceman. Yeah. <laughs> Wolverine has a great quote of, like, can I, you got maybe beer? This is a school. Very funny. Could have yeah. gotten a better delivery from Mr. Ashmore, but it's, it's he's young in his career. Sure, I understand. yeah. But eventually, he gets the Dr. Pepper, and then he blows on it. Thanks. That's One a of great my favorite scene. scenes of great all time. Scene, right? I want an X movie that's just that. You know, them I'm having fun with their powers. Their powers. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. So uh, now well, I'm just going to call this out here because mm -hmm. things are going to happen fast here. But just so, so you understand, it's a co-ed school where they all stay in the same building. Mm -hmm. And Bobby thought he would come down and eat the ice cream in his boxer shorts. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that to you. What? Uh, that's just up. That's just something. That Did happened. you not have a shirt on? No, he, sh no, he had a shirt on. But I'm saying he's yeah. in boxer shorts. Yeah. What's wrong boxer shorts. That's Put on fine. some athletic shorts. You're in a fucking mixed company house, and you're going downstairs fine. to eat your food. All these kids are. They want to look like them. See his balls. He's got a little, <laughs> little button there. Even, and these aren't me undies. They aren't hugging tight. They're loose. Yeah. All right. These yeah, are like what my good. grandfather was issued in World War II. All right. They're like fucking hard blue. Fucking paper. I, know. I want to give a shout out to Andy's delivery of that line because that was good. I didn't so hear what it says. So I just did the indie where I didn't. I ignored it. What did you say, Andy? Say it again. I said if they want to look, let them. Yeah. Delivery not so good yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Andy's delivery was great that, that first time. time. It was terrible. Cut that but, out. Cool I was gonna say thanks for all the people who broke out Andy totally not understanding <laughs> the beginning. I still of don't. Still don't. <laughs> the beginning of what? You what saw me. You, you saw understand? me reply in the tweet, right? What don't you no. understand? So like it was broken out and put it on Twitter, and I replied, I still don't know what the fuck y'all were talking about. La so Please link when me. we announced oh, the video. Uh, X Men in review, okay, a father took a video, oh. super excited that we okay. were going to do X Men in review, and then turned it on his daughter, who was super embarrassed to be in the video. Oh, okay. and he made fun of her. I had no idea. You know what? I'm just maybe he should explained be it like two seconds before. You were like, I have no idea. Right, that, that's, that's true. Yeah. No, he said it, but uh, like to me, he's just referencing a video that I don't know what it's about. Because yeah. all Greg said yeah. was, "Shout out to the father who was excited about X Men and then showed his daughter." And I was like, Is "I feel this? like he explained it this exact same way after you said that." More importantly, here's the what, first time. I, I don't. Like, we don't have to get in the weeds. In this it wasn't thing. made clear that it was a video referencing kind of funny. So I just thought I'm with Danny some, on this one. I was like, I'm gonna be real. Is this just some random video from the internet that I didn't see? Well, or I, I watched, watched the video, so what, it made perfect sense. I was gonna say thank you, thank you for Kevin for watching. And I'm just gonna put this out there, Andy. All right. And I hate to do employee reviews live on the <laughs> do it, but maybe Fire if you did less time ass. on twitchtv slash Cortez. Andy Cortez. Andy Cortez. <laughs> yeah, if you did less time there and more time Stop being a part of the best friends, Doctor instead of doing what exactly you do watch a lot of Doctor Disrespect. Where would Disrespect I watch? Where was this video? Was on Twitter? I'm sure it was on the subreddit and the Twitter. I think I. I think uh, James Earl Jones tweeted about it. <laughs> Whoa. He actually quote tweeted it. And he said, Andy, keep up. Keep up. <laughs> Anyways. Keep it up. Keep it so up. we jump from the mansion back to Nightcrawler. We get more exposition from him. He's all upstairs. Guess what? His name? Kurt Vonnegut. He wrote a bunch of books and he was in the <laughs> Munich Circus. That was always weird. Like, why, why, did they, why did they name it's, him that? It's no, it's not, Kirk Wagner. It's Wagner. Yeah. Oh, it's Wagner. Okay. Wagner. Okay. Wagner. okay. I've heard it both ways. I thought it was Vonnegut. He eventually, though, he's still uh, angelic tattoos. and one, Or he doesn't say that part yet. But he rolls over and he's got the thing on his neck and he covers it with his like three fingers. God, his big old chub fingers. fingers are disturbing. You know? No, I liked it. I liked it a lot, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Then we jump back to the mansion. Guess what's happening over there? We're just chilling out. And then what, it's fucking Navy SEALs start moving in. Mm. They're just coming in left and right. They're moving but in there. Those guys did a clinic on each other's face paint. Yeah. They must have checked yeah. that. It was perfect face paint. I would have been like, why didn't you just. Did he just flop? Why do this? you need green in it? Just do. <laughs> you know just what I mean? Like, why George. did you take all that time? You're raiding a fucking mansion. You're walking indoors. From well, they the came plants. from the they came from the trees, but it's woods. nighttime. It looked like a facial mask. That part of it, it kind of ran so me a stupid. Mask. Facial mask. This whole scene is one that I was like, all right, this is still as cool as I yeah, remember. It's a cool, it. but it's a scene, scene that I will still talk shit about because God, I wish we can get this in like a modern movie. Oh God, the idea of a raid on the mansion Would with all the, the mutants freaking out. Yeah, yeah, so cool. And I feel like this movie it did it did a good enough job. But God, it'd be cool if they fucking knocked sure. it out of the park. See, I thought there were some parts, like, with Wolverine that were dope. The part where he stabs the guy's foot, I remember it. I was like, whoa, oh, that was intense. He, but everything else, I just felt was so slow. He murders no, a lot yeah, of Yeah, when, when it starts out and he, like, stabs a dude in the back. Well, he stabs the guy first through the fucking uh, the fridge, right? Yeah. Yeah, that and yeah, that like, was the f part where I was like, was oh, cool. wow, it's actually Logan being Logan. You know what yeah. I mean? Of, like, what, the Logan, what, yeah. what we know later on of the Logan. The Logan. I really want to see blood on the Yeah, I know, all right. But it was awesome to see, dude. And he turns around. 
around and Bobby's all like down and like you're okay and shakes and like they're shooting up the flanks. By the way, Blinky's down. Blinky got he's the first <laughs> he one to get ice. Which shot. sucks because he could, he can't go to sleep. That was a so cool, was that was cool there. when they cut back to him and he's like it's not working on him, but it is. Like that was a really cool song. I mean, with all due respect, he deserved it. Like if yeah. you're gonna come off me like, oh, hello, like what the These, fuck do you think's happening? They're good kids. These they don't. Oh, know. sure, they're good kids. They're trained to go into the fucking underground railroad right. if anybody comes. Yeah. But a flashlight and a gunpoint. Hello, I'm they're, I think I think it was just. A, I think it was just. You want to play basketball? I can't sleep. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> kill, fucking kill them all. You know what I mean? That'd be such a cool thing. Yeah, I think. What? Which part? To not sleep. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be fun. But is that, that his suck. power? Why is he switching the channels with his eyes? Can, like, Why can he shoot perfect feels. basketballs every it's time? The, the different Why it's can the Morph kid. be in like one episode of the animated series, but be the best part of it? I don't know. It's how it works. Morph. Anyways, yeah, so we just get some rock'em sock'em robots here. Everybody's fucking, they're coming in. Kitty Pride Shadow shows Cat, up. She runs Colossus. through them. Shadow Which Cat. one's Shadow Cat? She's Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride. Okay. Running through the wall. Why does she got two names? That's Kitty, her nickname. Kitty Pride's her name. Shadow Cat. Like no, no kid names are kid, Kitty Pride. All right. That's they do if they name. really want them to be a stripper. Gotcha. Really want them to be. She's a stripper. running through walls. That's happening. The one girl's screaming. She's got braces. She wakes everybody up. That's cool. Colossus shows up. And I'll say right now, hashtag my Colossus. I don't know this Deadpool Russian guy. Or what? Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't like. I like him fine. I just I always thought that like I liked the X universe. Let's keep this Colossus. Going. Uh, yeah, that Colossus was fine until we saw the real Colossus. Now of course, who this stays is... in Colossus form the entire time? That's the right way to live. Well, exactly. No, I was about to yeah. make no, fun but of that, right? it, Can you switch? Is he yeah, able to no, switch? No, he absolutely he does can this movie. switch. No, but I mean, like in the Deadpool movie, is that uh, uh, like did this movie change that back? I think. Story? So. I don't well, think no, this is a different, different guy. So interesting. Because this guy does not have the Russian accent or anything. I thought he just hadn't learned it. He should. Sure, but, but you know what? Again, like matter. no. This is your. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm with Kevin. Wait, yeah, guys, you know what? Colossus. Actually, now that I, that I think about it, yeah, Colossus. I don't think can switch back to. No, I think he's always silver. Isn't yeah, he? he was always silver in the cartoon. Yeah, he he could switch. Can he? Yeah, in the Ultimate Comics, he can. I don't know. Yeah, but in the Ultimate Comics, he's also doing steroids. Cool. What? Anyways, yeah, this, we got a Colossus here he's who turns strong. into Colossus and they bounce off and he punches through the wall and they're like, awesome scene. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to immediately undo being Colossus because this movie it's doesn't have that much budget. This <laughs> is a very expensive very effect. Expensive. <laughs> I will just carry people around shirtless because I'm yeah, yacked or yoked? Jacked. 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 So get it jacked. Are we get you it? Know, do we see his abs in this? I we can't do. remember. You see Wolverine's abs or the Logan. Yeah, they weren't that great though. These, I mean, again, I mean, you still got to do it. Though. We have right, the ring. Give it to me. Were they born, born in labs? No, I always say born, but it's built. Or were they made? made. Were they made? Made in labs. Now it's time to rank those abs. What? Nothing you really added like a flood like jazz time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing it only really took time. 28 weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing really to call home about here. Again, I feel like Hugh Jackman's definition overall is suffering in these movies. He gets much better as he builds that lean, that deep body, ma like body mass, and then goes straight into uh, the Wolverine where we really start seeing those abs. Colossus. Clearly, I don't remember them, so who cares? He was a dumb character. I think it's a thing. And he where should like, have fucking stayed metal and fucking killed everyone in that scene. Like we're complaining about these old movies having bad special effects back then. Steroid technology not very good either. It was pretty good back then. Mm. Now here's my question oh, for yeah. you, Mark McGuire. Mark I already McGuire torn it up. Was great back well, then. Well, not, but it was great He did not have a great ab performance. Him and Sammy Sosa were knocking they some were dingers out of the boys. park, but they weren't like fucking yacked or jacked Baseball or yoked. Baseball being very, very good to me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now here's what I want to ask. Sure. Uh, now. I appreciate they your love today. of the male physique. Yeah, they're gorgeous. But we do get some of uh, uh, the Dark Phoenix's abs there when she goes into the tent. And we pull up the, with we, the little scars Wolverine on there. Wolverine starts pulling up her shirt there. Mm. Also, not nothing to write home about. Nothing Jean, Jean Grizzle. No, again, I, I enjoy that. I have such an aversion to Fam K. Jensen in this. I just don't. Why? I just don't like Whatever her. Whatever happened to her? She just stopped acting? She These did Nip Tuck, I remember. Stand. She did Nip Tuck for a while. Yeah, I no, I just said that she did nip tuck. Yeah, and then I mean, that was she was on that for a while though, wasn't she? I mean, sure, but like what? That's, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, she got. I mean, she when she started doing X Men, she was seventy four years old. <laughs> You don't have long of a She's been life. dead for three so years. It's her and B Arthur just were in the oh same fucking God. retirement <laughs> home together. I, I enjoy the whole mansion so fight. For that. The mansion's fight. It's great. Everybody's fighting. It's cool. People are getting shot. Wolverine stabbing a bunch of people. Awesome. I, it's funny how you talked about like our mind playing tricks on us and like you remembering something more fondly. I totally remember him dropping down when people came through the front and stabbing them both in the leg. So going, you picked the wrong house, bub. And it totally isn't that at all. It's when he stabs the first, he grabs the first guy from yeah. behind in the kitchen and says it and then mm. later does that. That fucking scene where he jumps off the balcony in slow motion and it lands and it's a weird cut because they couldn't get it to work. I was 
was like, what a Why fucking you show that? huge missed opportunity. Yeah. Like everything that he did in that, some of it was cool, but the rest of it was like, who choreographed this? Like he's the fucking Wolverine. Like he's slowly running at people screaming with this. And that scream he does every time gets me because it's so uh. dry. It has no echo. It has no resonance. It has no power behind it. It is just like, it's not Hugh Jackman's fault. He's given him the screen, but whoever the sound designer was just totally was like, that eh, was good enough. Didn't quite evoke any emotion other than a dude kind of gutturally screaming for no Berserker fucking reason. attack. Yeah, it was supposed to be like I'm I'm raging out, but he never ever. Really I feel the one gets you get that ever. I no, I feel the you get one scene of it, and it's the beginning of this where he stabs the guy in the in the fridge. Yeah, when he's like, he just gets, and I was like, fuck, that was awesome. Yeah, and then yeah, he never picks him up, right? Whatever. Yeah. That was fucking cool. It never did it for me. Stand... Oh, I, yeah. I, that was that's my biggest like my my, my my the biggest sham I think for the first three movies that Wolverine never really at any point like really does it. Like he doesn't really, we don't really give him that fucking amazing like action scene that that we some of the scenes we got from Logan, for instance, where he's yeah, like but, running through and fucking people up. Like even those were okay, but maybe it's just Wolverine. Uh, the, the All start, he does is run and hack shit, so you can't really do much else with it. But I just felt like it never crested. The start of scene of Logan, I think, is like a direct like response. Yeah, to Deadpool doing now so we can much. Finally, yeah, now, now we, now we finally, can do this. Can do very Watch violent. us like very dramatically cut these people apart. So. Yeah, that's true. I want like a single player narrative driven rated R version. You know what I mean? Like X Men Origins Wolverine was fun and the, getting blown apart and all that shit. And like, but like, the story sucked. Like, imagine if it was now like a Naughty Dog, even a Crystal Dynamics was like, cool, just Wolverine telling awesome Wolverine story. That'd be fucking That'd be fun. Cool, man. Right. Um, so he fucks up all these people, sure. He's Let's just fucking it. killing people. It's great. Everybody's in dead. Uh, and then like uh, the, the people are escaping. The kids are escaping through the Underground Railroad that they all knew was there, but they never planned for an attack. Again, I think just Colossus knew. Oh, that's cool. Just tell the yeah. big guy who doesn't need any defense. Yeah, the well, guy. I mean, yeah. to be fair, if don't you're tell, tell Blinky. He's over there in a fucking you, living nightmare. You, <laughs> I'm not dead or alive. I'm somewhere in between. You know, to be fair, you probably don't want to tell a school of like raging hard on yeah. teens that there's a hidden exit they can get out of the. Uh, they right. have they're magic powers. Kids. They can just walk through walls. Say, some of them. I was going to so say. So it's like, yeah. Really. yeah, but the Anyways, Blinky, what the fuck go was Blinky kid going to do? You're going to lose Blinky kid. He winds up at a 7-Eleven. Like this fucking kid's been here eating all the goddamn hot dogs. Get your stupid fucking Blinky kid out of my ass, 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, earlier when Colossus went in there he's like I can help you Wolverine and the entire audience is like yes please go and he's like no they need you oh, I thought that was me. a good line it was, it made it was sense. good but yeah, I wanted to see more of him uh, then meanwhile then yeah uh, Where Rogue, these- Bobby and Pyro were escaping the same way and then Rogue was like but we need to have him and then Bobby's like ah, fucking, I want to kiss you one day whatever yeah, it hadn't happened yet. They run back, and Pyro's like, nah. and, like nah. and he he chases because he's a shitless little shit. So you don't dude. like Pyro? No, no, no. I nobody, love Pyro. nobody. By the end of it, I like him. I think you're not supposed to like him. At the no, he's oh, annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we like yeah. him because he's a he's the character. I, I, I like his. I liked his character. Oh yeah, but he's, he he's a fucking bad. bad. He was a good bad guy. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Where are we going with this fucking Boston, New York map? <laughs> I want to get this. Is what I want to know. I'm so, I want this. I want to get there. What is cool, it? Cool, Greg. I need more recap juice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give him the courage juice. <laughs> Give him the courage juice. Re- recap juice is so good. Anyways, yeah, guess what? Logan just gets stopped because there's Striker. He's talking some shit. He knows things. Logan doesn't know anything about himself. He doesn't know he's the Logan yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. But clearly, Striker knows shit. So he comes up and he's talking. I've seen you. I haven't seen you in a long time. He's doing this whole thing. Well, yeah, I'm a huge Jackman. You know what I mean? Impression was great. Thank you. I'm Australian. Oi. And uh, meanwhile, though, Bobby's been doing the ice thing. They make an ice wall uh, for a second there. Yeah, uh, uh, the Logan. He's mad about this. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he understands. Like, oh, he really needs you. And like, oh, okay. He goes in the underground mm-hmm. railroad with the kids. They all get out. Together. Well, because there, there that, was a scene. There was a thing that we're, we're kind of missing a little bit about where Alkali Lake in the beginning Wolverine goes, mm-hmm. and then he ends up going back mm-hmm. to Professor X. Yeah. Who, and Professor X shows him Cerebro and how it works and explains it again because X oh, he puts a c- the cigar out in his hand. Cool. Why? Cool. Why would he do that? Because he needed to he, stop he, smoking. He, 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 but he could have just put it on like his shoe or something. I like he had to read. Audibly, he's like, oh, do it. you what? Uh, That's really Xavier fucked up. made him. No, no there's I'll be no honest, way. I'll be honest with you. If Xavier made me do that, I'd be like, I'm killing your fucking old ass in your sleep. You are dying. But he can heal. Sink, bah, right in his fucking. Face. I don't yeah, think Xavier okay. made him I, that's do that. Like, no, that still no. hurt. Like right now, if you were like, if you had mental powers and you were like, all right, and you just made me take my shirt off, you're like, Greg, take your shirt off all the time. True, but against my will, you're inside my brain. No way. No I, there'd be a big problem. We, we would at least have an immediate conversation about it. Uh, uh, I did like, stay tuned for the last stand when Xavier does just that. I did but, get the vibe where Wolverine was like take a shit super 
like regretting it doing that. Which is like, why even? Why would you do it then if you're gonna regret? No, it? I think mean, he was just. I think he was just like, all right, oh. this is the easiest way I could reach down, but. This is simpler. I just feel Xavier like made him do it. Hashtag no, Xavier time. made him do it. I, no way. I'm not going to argue with you. Fine. Put that hashtag on it. What I need people to do is go and get, uh, God, Caddyshack. Yeah. The guy who's in charge of the club. Oh, Cannonball. The guy who's in charge of the club. Bill Murray's brother? No. No, the, the guy, like, uh, uh, the judge. The judge we didn't like. Oh, yeah, what shit. about him? He when when Wolverine does this and oh, oh oh it reminded me so much of Caddyshack wow. when he's busting through the door when the guy's having sex with his his cousin or yeah whatever. yeah 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 somebody mashed the he's gonna bust out of the claw stop. and just fuck it no Somebody then there'd be it'd be that'd be like me doing that in your house well yeah because then there's saying, still a lit end falling somewhere you know I'm what just mean? saying that effect must have cost them at least a couple thousand dollars for that much they could have fucking killed that marmot that was on uh storm's fucking head. storm's head and got her a real wig yeah that's all Not i'm saying a real wig <laughs> Something a better, way, a good way. Something it, better it than that. It was still a real one. No, that thing was they. They saw something in the backyard, killed it, and put it on her fucking head. That was all. So they got. goes it was like to, a dyed possum to Xavier, yeah. and he's just like, "Hey, you, you told, you gave me some hints, but like, I need some more. There's nothing fucking there." And he's like, oh, "I can't really do that shit." And so then when Stryker comes in before the ice wall comes up, he's all like, "I know some shit, Wolverine, yeah. Logan." And he's like, "Oh my god, I'm the Logan." Right, I'm the Logan. I'm the Logan. Yeah. Uh, I thought that the scene when the wall came up, mm-hmm. and then. Striker touches yeah, yeah, the wall and, and Wolverine, and touches Wolverine the wall. It's like get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, what the fuck? He knows he's important. He doesn't know yet. Yeah, though. but like what not like <laughs> longingly holding yeah, the wall, like, like I wish I was on the other side. Yeah. He's just trying to figure it out. It also, really I want to give Duh. a shout out to the one soldier that brought the ice grenade. You know? Where he's like, oh, here's a grenade that has fucking a spikes, spike on, spikes on, it. on it. Clearly, yeah. in case we encounter anything like an ice. Or a hard substance that we need to blow up. Yeah, it's one of them sticky grenades, you know? Little okay. spikes on it. So we now have the Logan, the Rogue, the Pyro, and the Iceman. They're like, guess what? We gotta get out of here. They come up, instead of going out with the Colossus and them into the fucking woods, these guys come up in the garage. They get in uh, Mr. Cyclops' car. It's RX-8. It's got the weird in Tokyo Drift. It's got the weird mm. suicide doors where you have to close them in a very specific order, those. which was very uh, when like Wolverine's like grabs his keys like not this time, and then you see him open the door for the kid, and then it's like, nice, thanks for closing your door first. All right, let's go. And they drive off, and they fucking go and like and then bye 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 plays. Yeah, yeah, that was a funny moment. Back. Really weird. weird. At the time, it was really weird. funny. Yeah, because right. well, we hated it, sync. It reminded me of Scary Movie Two yeah. when the graduation song starts playing when they're in their car. But I'm like, this isn't a comedy movie. That was weird. No. It was a fun comedic moment at the time. But, but it's for like a movie insane. that I doesn't have it, it, comedic yeah. elements, it's so out of place. I yeah, enjoyed it, it this time when I watched it. I, I just thought I it was like, oh, really oh, cheesy. Oh, yeah. Backstreet Boys. Audio listeners in now, sync. you need to turn Kevin, to the YouTube video because we need to do more yeah, with, inside, our, uh, that's 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 with our white board here. Kevin, you hold it up? Mm-hmm. So now, as we've expressed before, Boston to Westchester, New York. Still, yeah. Three hours. Three hours. Thank you very much. <laughs> to set up the stage now, by car, we have the Wolverine, the Rogue, the Iceman, <laughs> the Pyro, right? <laughs> now, they're going from Westchester, New York to What's Boston. What's Pyro? P. Oh. Oh, that's only a P? Yeah. Oh, okay. The audio listeners understand. Okay. Meanwhile, up in the jet, we have Nightcrawler, uh, K- Kitty Pride, and Storm. Not right. Now they're going. <laughs> Kitty Pride was that. They're again. going from Boston to Westchester by a plane, a jet. Wolverine, Rogue, the Pyro, and Iceman cometh. They're going by a car. Mm-hmm. It's going to take three hours. This is this is like an SAT question. I'm sorry, everybody. Three hours from them to get to Westchester to Boston, where Bobby's parents live. It turns out. Oh, okay, great. It's nighttime, of course. I'm going to put a moon here, Andy. Okay, that's nighttime. Sure. When they leave Westchester, New York, it was, it was the middle of the night, right? Yeah. Now, not the middle middle, because it didn't seem like it was that late. Bobby's eating ice cream, whatever. Yeah, 1 a.m. maybe. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll give you that. Now, it's sunlight when they get to Boston. Mm-hmm. They drive to Boston. They get to Bobby's parents' house. It's bright outside. They yeah. get there. Logan wants a beer. We're going to talk about that scene. Don't get me wrong. Meanwhile, though, up in the jet, you got Storm, <laughs> Kitty Fried, and Nightcrawler, right? Yeah. And they're on. Uh, they're, they're, uh, <laughs> Their phones, right? And they're like, what oh, I can't hail them. I can't hail anybody back at the mansion, right? Why are you calling it hailing? Because they're, 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 right. they're, they're in a ship. They're in a ship. All right. They're in a ship. They're in a ship. So, again, Boston to Westchester, Westchester to Boston. That's three hours by car. Sure. Storm, Kitty Pride, and Nightcrawler, they left. They found each other at night. 
They left saying they couldn't hail anybody there. Mm-hmm. Somehow, Wolverine, Pyro, and all these people able to drive all the way to Boston. No problem. Wait, mm-hmm. Nightcrawler was in Boston? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. This Not is no longer the great character. No, this is mm-hmm. in Boston. They drive there three hours, get to the sunlight, everything is great. These motherfuckers can't fly back. This this trip they are on in the X jet takes about eight hours. You gotta yeah. re, we gotta refuel. Them. They yeah, go up into White the House sky and then just orbit. No one knows what they're doing. <laughs> they're just up there chilling out. Nothing fucking. Ha- I can't hail. That's fine. Just go there. Yeah. Why wouldn't you go there? I'm sure the plane has some kind of machinery some to de- rain uh, fire on people. Some yeah. delays. You know. We can't. We can't communicate with them. Mm. Well, we can travel at supersonic stealth speeds. We could probably just fly over and see what's ha- No, we, we won't do that. We're going to take this weird journey from Boston to Westchester. And it will just take t- forever. We'll just be up there forever. Now, again, we're skipping around, Andy, but I want you to stick with me. I'm with you. What eventually happens is they decide we can't hail Westchester. We can't. Hail the school, Andy. The <laughs> That's school. the school. All right. Yeah. So what they do is they ring a phone that is in Boston with Logan. Yeah. To which Logan says, we're with the Bobby Drake family. Just come fucking pick us up. To which these people say, I assume, awesome. Because we took off from Boston into yeah. the sky. Mm-hmm. Couldn't make contact with Westchester, New York. We didn't move at all. So we'll be there yeah. in literally a minute and a half. Maybe maybe you're missing the point of the movie that got cut out where they said the fallback plan if anything happens is always go to Boston. <laughs> Just go to Boston. They're like, if you can't make contact with us and you drive three hours you to think Boston. something's wrong with That's these safe haven. If you think the school filled with children we're responsible for. If you think something bad's happened, just chill out in whatever airspace you're in. Yeah. Wait for someone to contact you. We know you have powers. Yeah. We know you could help. Don't come back with the ship that could probably rain death on everybody. Yeah, death rain. Stay <laughs> up in the orbit of Boston, mm-hmm. but don't look. It's very much. It's very much. You'll follow me on this one. It's mer- very much uh, uh, like Devil's Advocate. Mm-hmm. Look, but don't touch. Yeah, oh. exactly. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, but don't enjoy. That was good. You missed the whole thing. Can you do that Dude, again? I, loved it, I, I really loved it. You done with this? Yeah, I'm done now. Okay. Thank you. Good Just job, pointing Mike. out that there. I don't know what Storm and Jean Grey were doing. Into Me- it. <sighs> Anyways, we're going to Boston now. We're back in Boston. Uh, guess now, again, they like can't the hail movie, anybody. By the way, we are only maybe 40 minutes in to the movie. And I'll tell you, I tell you, it's bad. Yeah, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be the guy who has to recap this for you. You know what I mean? I know a lot of you right now are listening to this, and you'd prefer to do anything else. But you fucking started Strap it. In. You're an hour and eleven minutes in. in. Yep. Fucking pour yourself some fun recaps. You just let's do it. You you made you your bed. Too much. Laying it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Andy, for saying what we we're all thinking. Yep. Now. We're going to Boston. We get to Boston. I'm sure there's some fucking shit happening in the middle here. Nobody cares about it. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Maybe we went back. Maybe this is when Xavier and fucking gets gassed. Who the hell knows? Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Who gives a fucking shit? We're going to jump to the Bobby Drake scene. Yay! Everybody goes in the house. We're at the house. Great. Pyro's sitting there like the little bitch he is looking at the family photo. And he's like, oh, they they were happy once. I'm not. I've never been happy. I'm Mm -hmm. a Mm mutie mutie. Uh, great. Logan's like, you know what? I want a beer. And he goes in the fridge, finds a beer, cracks it open. The cat and he smells the cat. Cat licks his claws. Great. I jumped ahead, but we'll get back. He, he, the he cat, shot the yeah. The, he like extended his claws at the cat, and it's like that cat was a little closer. That'd be a dead cat. Sure. So then the cat, they put a little iced tea on the on the. Was it iced tea? The yeah, that later. Things later. for the cat to lick. It's a true story. Yeah, I saw a liquid when on it. When they're in production. I saw a liquid on it. I didn't know what it was. So yeah, they, they did that to make the cat lick. Let's jump up when, when he pulls it in, you hear the cat go, Arr! it's like, that's fucked up. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs, we got Rogue in Bobby Drake's room. Mm-hmm. Bobby mm-hmm. Drake's all about this We're business. in my room, Bobby. No, his, no, it's his, room. Room, his room. Oh, we're in your room, Bobby. Exactly. There it is. <laughs> so... <laughs> She's in there. Bobby comes in. I got some clothes from my mom that are apparently going to fit you really well. They're from the 70s. Went well, groovy. <laughs> and then he, he, she, uh, you know, he, she's going to change. And she starts taking off her clothes and Bobby turns his back. And then in a very creeper, like, look. Not in, not in a romantic, cute way. He's like, <laughs> yeah. 
Then this ice tongue comes out. No. And, uh, <laughs> he starts that's blanking. when we cut back, I don't know, downstairs. Pyro's jacking off. Nobody cares. We cut back eventually, though. Rogue's dress. She touches him with the grandmother's glove. They turn around, and he's like, wants to kiss. She's like, oh, he's like, won't hurt me. And they kiss, and then she pulls away, and she does like the fucking dentine ice cold breathe out. And it's like another great hot. moment where yeah. it's like hot. Yeah. 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 It was really hot. Yeah. Then they kiss, and it's too much. Yeah. But I feel like we could get around this. I feel like yeah. just quicker kisses, quicker anything. You know what I mean? We know that sound. We could do this. We. Yeah. We could do this. Anyways, back downstairs. <laughs> that's where the beer thing happens. Great, blah, blah, blah. Bobby's family walks in. These You can already you look at these people and you're like, man, you are a family of bitches. Mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with any of you fuckers. Not but here all. we go. Let's see what you got. Fucking shitty mom and shitty dad and shitty, shitty kid. Fucking brother. But to be fair, <clears throat> the mutants handled it super bad. <laughs> like the situation, <laughs> they, it could have been a lot better. <laughs> Instead, there's a bunch true. of mutants just hanging out. Drinking beer, it's and, like what the fuck's going on? And, like they rightfully no, 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 freak no, 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 out no, 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 when no, no, there's no. this dude. Yes, yes. Well, in that part, I'm not against <laughs> the mute. Okay, okay, you're talking about when they actually have the conversation. The conversation then before okay. that too. What well, I know when the, they walk in and they're like, "What the hell? Are you, who the hell are you?" But Bobby Bobby gets there real quick. Bobby yeah. gets there real quick, and he's like, "Oh, that's Professor Logan." Blah blah. blah. But he could have right away been like, "Hey, sorry, we're here with your, with your son." Sure, but I mean, I feel like that's such a small thing. Of like, I think I would say that set the tone. For the situation, that I, I feel like first back. reaction would have been like, "Oh, cool, oh, so whatever." I don't know why you're drinking beer if you're a teacher, but whatever. They go out there, and I'm sure I'm skipping some bullshit. Nobody cares about. We Who go out there. Shit, oh, you dude. know what? We are skipping bullshit. We're skipping good bullshit, though. Sorry. W- meanwhile, somewhere in all this jump around, Mystique went and fucking doped up this fucking guy, the fat guard we didn't like, uh, right? right? Whereas oh, Rebecca oh, Romaine Stane, God, Samos, she's doing the fucking accent. Yeah. She goes over there. Oh. You're right. As Rebecca Romain Stamos, yeah. one of the most iconic. There's two things from this movie that I remember vividly from being a little kid. When I walked in, it was me, Danny, Curran, some of my best friends in the fucking world. We saw this movie twice at the Alexandria, Alexandria Theater. Mm. R.I.P. Was you it cold I mean? on the block of Gordos? Oh, okay. If you're gonna ask me. Uh, the it was very cold. What? Well, the, they had the one theater that was broken. Oh my god! It was pumping cold. Don't remember all that. Don't it remember really that. made That's, it good for no. when you were. Watching. But the two things I remember from this movie vividly: one, Pyro's. Little fucking lighter. Yeah. yeah. Nothing cooler. Yeah. Nothing cool. cooler to a 12, 13 year old boy. Sure, people like even fire. if you didn't smoke, than just him flicking it the entire time. Yeah, yeah. We all went out and bought Zippos. Remember that shit? We all did that. That's a true story. Do you uh, have one right now? Wow. There you go. What if, wouldn't it be awesome there if it was the exact go. same one with a little fire guy in it? And then uh, the second thing was this scene where she goes bottoms up and then she like hits him in the butt I with the so. syringe. Yeah. God. Wait, what? Did that turn you on? There's nothing that turned me on. There's something about that that like me we said bottoms up. <laughs> All the time, oh. out of context, yeah, it yeah. just felt right, man. X2. See, and here, that, like, I'll tell you right now, the problem with this scene being a little fat turd growing up is that for some reason you read into this like, oh, don't be a fat turd growing up, right? But like, I watched this happen, I'm like, well, there's a chance for me. You know what I mean? I'm like, if this guy, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And he's like, well, no, oh my God, <laughs> he had, he he was being abused. You know what yeah. I mean? But whatever. Rebecca Ryan Stamos. There's a chance that a hot woman's gonna want to inject. Buy me a beer. You know, for iron. some reason, I blocked out all the rest of it. Right? Whatever. The syringe. Full of fucking like the dude, it was a In giant butt, syringe, dude. dude. That scene was awful. Uh, awesome, fucked me it up. Was awesome. It was awesome. No, so it was cool. awesome. It's kind of dirty in here. That's the poem. Yeah, and it's like, oh yeah, this is hot. Dude, yeah. And then he doesn't even get any. That and really pills, sucks. It took a long time, like you know what I mean. And, like yeah. those pills kicking. She was risking it. She was up to the fucking minute there. She would have done it though. You know what I mean? If she had to. <laughs> I, just, I just didn't like that. Yeah, that the Mystique the fucking, effect. It didn't take effect until he took the last swig of it. Yeah. That didn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah. I think but it was just way. coincidence. Well, the bigger problem is again what Kevin's talking about is if she had to, she would have. Again, Mystique, how, man, she goes in all but the way. But how does that work? The clothing is an extension of her skin. So yeah, like, she what? just she forms a bunch of vaginas all over her body. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just accept oh, she's whatever. Like, choice. <laughs> yeah, oh Jesus. my god! Yeah. Jesus. Anyways, that all happened. Nick's just eating a salad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I gotta eat a salad. You're breaking. What do you mean you gotta eat a salad? No, no, my thing's done. I gotta eat it. Your okay. thing's done? Yeah, I'm doing a fast. I do a 24 hour Is that mic on? Because you're leaning away from it talking. <laughs> I don't think it's on. I wouldn't oh, imagine. Right. You know what I mean? Cool Greg's doing stuff. You're trying to maybe use a chair. <laughs> what? Anyways, <laughs> meanwhile, at the house, yeah. So here's where I think they went wrong. And here's where I'll bring in a movie I really do lo- love and appreciate and watch. Not a lot, but I owned it on, I own it on Blu-ray. Sliding M- doors. Milk. The Harvey Milk oh, story. Oh, is it good? I, oh, I'll bring it tomorrow. Oh, oh I'll yeah. Bring it in tomorrow. I, I totally love it. There is a great, obviously, I'm not, you know, obviously everybody knows this. The Bobby Drake conversation with his parents of him coming out as a mutant is very much uh, allegory for coming out as a gay person. Mm-hmm. It was shot that way on purpose. Exactly. 
And which, of course, will be a big uh, part, obviously, with Iceman eventually being gay in the Marvel Comics, the great Cena Grace run that you can... You know, we did the whole game over Greggy show with him and all that jazz. However, there's an awesome scene in Milk, and the whole movie's super powerful, but where basically they're like, listen, when people know us, when they know a gay person, they're more likely to vote for us. They understand that we're human beings and not just a boogeyman in a closet. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think it's Harvey in the scenes, but it might have been one of the other organizers, like, you all have to come out. Everyone has to come out. No one can be in the closet anymore. Damn. And one of the main people in the movie, one of Harvey's like right hand people, is like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'll call my dad. And like they hand, they go to hand him the phone. And he's like, as much as you would all love to see this, you know what I mean? Like this is private. I'm not. So it's super weird for me to watch that scene. And it's Bobby opening his heart with his girlfriend. Okay, Pyro. Wait, his fucking Logan. Boy. But no, I mean, like, they're no. all just standing around. And, like, and it's, and, okay, Not cool. only that. Let's reverse it. Give me your thing. Like, you know, you're lighter. If we're reversing the situation, Tim, and I'm your boy, right? Right? Yeah. And uh, you're coming out to your parents, I'm not going to be like... When you're a fucking punk ass kid, you do a lot yeah. of Dude, things. and she's like, like, the mom's like, I'm sorry. And he's like, well, it's actually the dad that passed on the. Fuck off. Yeah, this is a no. private moment. And, and, and fine. And fine. And, you know, you're a stupid ass kid. Rogue's not. That, well, she is. But Rogue's she's not. A dumb ass kid. She would have been like, hey, this isn't cool. Pyro. Well, I also think that he was doing that. It's sort of like, hmm. these are all my friends and we're all in the same boat. Like, so not to show that it's that I get rare. It. Yeah. But okay. they also, then they have the moment where, um, everybody's super defensive. Yeah. And well, it's like, like, what do you mean yeah. by that? Rumble. Exactly. Like, us she, people. She, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> he stabs them. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's happening. What's his, Nick, what's the fucking brother's name we don't like? Shithead McGee. Shithead McGee. He's like, woo, and he just stomps upstairs where he fucking calls 911 like, God, oh, what a little bitch. bitch. Yeah, he right. looks you know like I mean? a fucking There's future sexual here. assaulter. Jesus Christ. Does he In not? my head, he looks like the bad guy in American Vandal. Oh, okay. It's probably wrong. Wait, who is the, Wait, bad, the bad guy? Wait, the bad guy or the main well, character? The main character. The main bad, well, the main, the, 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 the YouTuber. Kid. The YouTuber. No, 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 no. Who He's the good guy. Oh, the red. Yeah. Sorry if I read American Vandal. The the redhead nerd. The redhead, uh, yeah. yeah. No, not no, at all. Okay. No, 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 no. Fuck that kid too. Anyways, while that happens, I'm assuming we cut back to the plastic prison where fat guy comes back to work. Yeah, we're jumping around, feeling heavy. And let me tell you, what a great fucking scene so we cool. get here. Up to a point. Mm, yeah, you're right. What a great right. scene we get here. Where yeah, we've seen our boy Magneto, who again you love or you hate, but you understand where you he's love coming him. He's from. He's fucking awesome. You Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And like as soon as the fucking fatty fat walks in, Jesus. You know, All right, let's calm down with the fat shaving. I mean, whatever. I'm as fat. As, he's no, I'm fatter than he is. I'm more out of shape than Fatty Fat is. It's true. But so I can call him Fatty Fat. That's fine. I don't know if that's how it works. I have a fat friend. Okay. Uh, he walks <laughs> in. <laughs> and, <laughs> you, Nick. and Magneto is sitting there sleepy, all like fucking old man sleepy, who's like, it's like the most adorable sleepy. You know what I mean? You want yeah. to put, yeah. put like an Afghan that his wife, who passed away two years ago, made over him. He's like, ah. Uh, yeah. What? Nana. Nana, yeah, okay. And he does that thing where he smiles without opening his eyes. Like, ooh, Mr. Patterson, something's wrong with your blood. And he's like, ah, oh, I'm going to fucking beat you with this stick. And then does a the thing. Like, Too much <sighs> iron in your blood. And like rips it all out of fucking his pores. Cool. And shit. Uh, so good. When he's like, hey, stop. And he's like, no. Yeah, was no, like, yeah. I think I will, yeah. right? Fucking so brutal, awesome. Man. Gets it. Makes it into balls. Forms it up and shit. No, not there yet. Instead, yeah, he makes it into a cylinder and then just does this weird, like... The Magneto, dude. It's the Magneto, yeah. My thing is... Oh, great. That's a thing from the comic that doesn't carry over. Because you problem. look like fucking Shazam. Or, no, people not, argue, wait, like... Oh, Shazam. It's, it's like, that's not comic accurate enough, and we always fucking bitch about all this stuff. And then they give us it, and then we bitch about that. I enjoyed that because it's like, hey, that's fucking Magneto, I, but it looked dumb as hell. I, I this, like this is not enough uh, uh, fucking iron to be that big of a plate. <laughs> Dude, it was a big fucking inject. It was this much iron in the no, damn like needle. The, remember that? But the balls were like that big, I felt. Yeah, but he made them real flat. Real thin. We saw that. We saw really he made them real thin. flat. <laughs> and all, I don't think Magneto needs anything to stand on to fly. He can just use the yeah, magnetism. You're right. You're 100 percent right. I'm sorry. Greg just hit the shit out of something. Yeah, it hurt you real okay? Bad. What happened? Hurt really bad. I'm hurt real bad. Oh, guy. I see the skin on your face. Oh yeah, thumb. yeah, it hurt. It's it's going down over time. Yeah, I didn't it's know what that down. face was. I was like, I'm just gonna. Let I did that thing this. where you know we don't have wheels in the chairs because I'm an asshole. I understand. Kevin, it's not so I tried to yank it in my hand slipped off and I slammed it in with all my pressure. Okay. Ooh. It's now okay. it's while you're coming, Kevin, and I apologize for having to eat the salad right now. But I why do you have to eat the salad? I understand that part. I'm doing a fasting diet where I had to. I fasted for 24 hours and then oh, I was you're like, not going oh, with the 13 hour fasting what? setup. 
no, no, no. I'm good. I just want to try the 24 hours, see how I'd react to it. You get a little loopy. Andy, bring me ice. I appreciate this though, Nick, because I was worried for I was like, you fucking asshole, you better not have quit. No, 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 I was I'm 30 24. minutes over, so I was like, I should go, I should eat something now. Yeah. Uh, because I'm, you know, why not? So yeah, 24 hours it. without, huh? Yeah. It's crazy, it's easy, peasy. Yeah. Long story short is, I'm thinking power. about, Kevin, I want you to know this. Yeah. I'm thinking about instituting yet another podcast within a podcast called Real Physics. Now, is it physically- Real Physics with Kev? Well, we Real already, we already have a science podcast. Yeah. What's, oh, do we? Yeah. Can you kick it off for me? What is it called? Science, 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 science with, with Kev. No, now, Kev, I got it. let me ask you a question. If the room were completely devoid of gravitational pull, of any sort of Earth's magnitude, or, uh, magnetic pull, rather, not gravitational pull, how would he propel himself from the bottom of the floor up to the metal plate? In other words, he can levitate. How would he levitate the metal plate? Does that make I sense? I hurt my hand. Yeah. Does can he I need get the like magnetism of everything around it? I only heard. I love you. Thanks, Joe. Do you see what I'm saying? Does that check out? Yeah, yeah, no, that's really interesting. That's real interesting. Because you would think that he could, I could get that he could, uh, because he's still dealing the with the gra and, gravity. He's fighting yeah. gravity. How is he doing How that? How is he doing that? What is he using? That's, that's fascinating. This is where I, because you got to imagine, is he, he using the red used... power from the red dimension? No, it doesn't make any sense. No. Neither does the eyes yeah. just fucking putting out fucking red air, apparently. So, whatever. what he could have done is made red two pushing. plates and one on the bottom, one on his legs. And that's, you know, he's pushing Wait, against yeah, the plates. Yeah, right, from the bottom yeah. of the thing. But push, we don't push, know. Push, we don't, we know. don't know. Is Wait, that so, what he did? So I, I'm joining the conversation late. I'm, I've been rehabbing it. The way he's injury. able to float normally yeah. is he pushes himself away from the, the magnetic earth. ore in the earth, right? Yeah. The crust of the earth, he can push himself away from it. Mm -hmm. If they've somehow managed to not do that, the how neutralized does he, magnetism. what force is used to push the plate upward? Well, my... Or for that matter, how does, does he... Doesn't, if you were to, if I'm Magneto right now and there was a coin here and I just levitated it, I'm just levitating it with my power, no? Okay. So isn't he just levitating the thing he's on? It's not, it's, he can, sure. he can push and pull magnets or uh, metal closer and he further He creates from him. magnetic fields, so he... So he doesn't need the, the earth then? Yeah, I guess so. So but yeah, then, he just created a magnetic field that... Uh, well, that's what I'm saying is like... Lifted that, yeah. So I guess that, so the whole point of the room was just to make sure there was no, nothing magnetic in, in the Yeah, I guess so. But, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter that... Earth's magnetic field was still got it. They, like he can't do anything with it. All right, that's yeah. it for science. Okay. Okay. All right, that Cyclops' makes sense. powers. Cool, Greg. Here. I need some gaff tape for the the red the red energy and all that stuff. I'm on Wikipedia. Cyclops emits beams of energy from his eyes, described as optic blasts, which have the appearance of red light and deliver massive concussive force. Concussive, his cells constantly absorb solar energy, and he can use some of that energy to create an opening to another universe in front of his eyes. The beams fire from these openings. These beams cause no recoil or heat. And are tremendously powerful and can be used to rupture steel plates and pulverize rock or even punch a hole through a mountain. The beams constantly emanate from his eyes involuntarily and can be generally only stopped with his own eyelids or by shielding his eyes with ruby quartz, a translucent mineral. Mineral. So that makes a lot yeah. of sense there. Uh, the beam's involuntary yeah. nature has been explained as a psychological shortcoming that resulted from childhood trauma. He can nevertheless manipulate the beams in several different ways, partially through the use of adjustable apertures in his eyewear that allow the beams to fire through their shielding at variable levels, creating a laser-like situation. Mm, okay. I'm saying Marvel it, Comics are dumb, DC Comics that's what he has are dumb. It's, it's, it's a really dumb power. Like, we can call it out. He's got a so. dumb face. I think he could be so He's cool. got a dumb power. He has been extremely you know cool that? in the comics. You know the other? I sure it's not cheap. No, yeah, that's really expensive. I'll pay for it. It's fine. Don't worry, okay. everybody. I just want it on the record right now that I'm very much, cool, Greg, this is for you. I'm very much like Sabu in ECW yeah. when he cut his biceps open with uh, barbed wire and the barbed wire match, and then he, tucked, he taped himself together because he wouldn't stop the match. I won't stop the show because I might have broken my thumb. Okay. No big deal. Let's keep the plot yeah, going. Magneto's in the room doing Magneto oh, things. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Magneto gets out of the room. Great. Back at Bobby Drake's house. Guess what? They they weren't about this. The cat licks the fucking thing. I stopped my cat from licking the coffee, but she's dealing with a lot right now. No big deal. I understand, Mom. Uh, you know what? They're like, the, it's time to go. Cops are there. Hey, Greg. How did they get that cat to lick that coffee? I hear iced tea. <laughs> I already <laughs> told you. No, I think he might have been gone he for that part. Gone. He's been oh. gone a long time. They like, put iced tea on salad. It was a practical effect. Got it. But that was for this. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> they walk outside. Cops are there. Guess what? Jigs up. You're all muties. We don't like you. <laughs> Two cops are approaching. They're freaking the fuck out, of course. You know what yeah. I mean? And like Wolverine already had his knives drawn, the claws, because they were like, hey, you know, he's like, hey, I smell something. Something's going on. I hear sirens. I don't forget. He, he just knew shit was happening. He smelled something. Yeah. That's all. So he walks out there with the, the claws already out. They're like, draw the knives! Draw the knives! 
sometimes they've got like a good they got a good perimeter set up here. People are approaching from the side or whatever, right? Like, you know, drop the knife. He's like, I can't. He's like, Let me show you. He's like, I can't. And he points them at the people and then yeah. sucks them in. That was a dumb move. Dumb move. Got Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. You know I mean, just get suck them in like I, a little bit. I mean, it'd be little. very this simple to be like, I mean, like, oh, granted, he was scared. you know, Wolverine, he's not the brightest guy. No. Sure. We could have talked ourselves out of the situation. We'd be in charge. We'd be the mayor of, what, uh, of Boston at this mm-hmm. point. You know what I mean? But I digress. Mutyville. They shot. They shoot him in the head. He collapses. Uh, Bobby and Rogue crumple like a house of cards. They're down. But Pyro. Here's where he turns it around. Sure, douchebag kid, just give the fucking guy a lighter. Great. Don't stare at the fucking photo all awkwardly, you weirdo fucking kid. Don't be fucking talking shit to the parents as they deal with their fucking son, you weirdo fucking kid. But here's where he's like, you know what? You hear about the, you know those dangerous mutants you hear about on the TV? I'm the worst one. And like, granted, they just shot the fucking guy for the knife hands. Granted, this is a kid, but he's still got a flame, and maybe he's a terrorist, nobody knows. He fucking pulls it out, doesn't, they need to, like, I understand the first guy getting burned. Yeah. Sure. The woman on the other side, frozen in fear, who gets burned as well. That's the guy to problem with. And then like the 30 cops who then go out and get all their cars torched and shit. You're all bad cops. Dumb cops. Anyways. She's so saying you would have rather they shoot him dead. Oh, shoot that yeah, fucking totally. Dead yeah, I mean, he started yeah. shot Wolverine. The war popped off. You don't know it's if over. he had a bomb on him or something that he was going to use the, like... He was gonna He's like wearing the, pajama pants and sandals. He doesn't have a bomb on him, all right? You don't never never know. That's a man never seen a bomb. just put knives in his arm. <laughs> we yeah, don't know how, how mutants, prevalent like mutants are. I feel like pro- they'd never seen anything like this before. Oh no, you know? in Boston never. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm with you. No, I'm, I'm I can't just, tell. That seemed like sarcasm. I think Tim took it as sarcasm. Knows, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, so he starts blowing powers. up the cars. He's cool. Pyro's doing cool shit. All right, Pyro. I understand where you're coming from. Another scene that I'm like. If, I wish that we could see that moment in the MCU. Yeah. Because it would have been done so much better. Sure. Uh, then Rogue's like, this is getting out of hand. I got to use my fucking leech ability. She takes off her glove, touches him. He's like, nah, nah, nah. he can't do it. She pulls the fire back in because, of course, when she possesses the power, she knows exactly how to use it. Whatever. Sucks it all back in. Great. Then guess what? Jean Grey and Storm and Nightcrawler show up. Again, their 18-hour trip. That is a three-hour drive is commenced. Congratulations. <laughs> We've made it back. Everybody piles on. They take off. Yay. They fly. They're up in the air. You know what I mean? I assume Stryker's doing something. We get some. Maybe Stryker's he, be striking. Maybe he's up at the fucking Setting Alkali base, Lake. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing Walking some around. shit. Checking cameras. Where, uh, Mystique sneaks in and becomes the, the No, cleaner. we're getting there right now. We're getting okay. there right now. We're getting there right yeah, now. We are early. We're going to start speeding up. All right, because I'm bored. I'm bored. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm hurt, and I'm bored. How did so much happen in this movie? I know. It's a dense movie. This isn't on me, guys. I'm telling you the fast I can. Nobody's blaming you. Okay, just making sure we understand. Andy, you blaming me? Thank you very much. Thank you. If you like it, go to Patreon. Um, so now we're up in the fucking skies. Hooray, huzzah. We're in the fucking thing. We're all together again. The mutants are back. Yeah. Guess what? No, you don't, son. We got some jets coming after you. Some fucking of our bombers here from the United States of America. Mm-hmm. And they're all flying like, you got to get down. We're not taking mutant shit anymore. You're clearly just some weird stealth bomber. We don't know what the fuck you're up to. Surely they could fly way higher out of the They range. were flying sure. super high. Remember? They, now, she was like, dropped to 20,000 feet. 20,000 feet? Real high. No, I just feel like them in that jet has better technology than... Oh, you're saying they could go faster? Now again, they could just, like, I would out. like to agree with you, <laughs> but it took them... 18 oh, sure. hours sure. to fly a three hour drive. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. is the Ford Pinto of Jets. <laughs> okay. They don't listen. They don't respond. I mean, another thing. We have kids in the car. Don't do this. We're fucking mutant. We saved you at Statue of Liberty. We, we're good people. You know what I mean? They, not that it would have worked, but they don't do it. Yeah. And so then rather than. Dramatic pointing, though. Rather than like. talk to the Jets, right? The Jets fall back and then they're like, we're going to blow you out of the fucking sky. And so Storm's like, you know what? I'm going to make 90 tornadoes. And she Pretty makes cool. a bunch of. Oh, very cool. cool. Very yeah. cool. I'm not I'm knocking the coolness of it. She, did, she makes a bunch of fucking tornadoes. Uh, knocks one of the jets out. Fucking poor bastard pilot ejects out there. I assume he or she is immediately killed by these tornadoes. You can't parachute in a tornado. That's bad. Like, you're ripped dead. apart. Oh, the tornadoes, like, disperse. Not that quick, but anyways. Uh, they go. Then another one's coming. She fires her stuff, but they knock her out of the air, too. Hey, great, whatever. And then it's like, oh, we did it, everybody. Yay. And then, no. Oh, there's more coming at her. Foxtrot one. We got one coming in. You know what I mean? Like, the fucking missiles are coming. There's two of them. Jean Grey, 
She's like, you know what? Woo, Phoenix eyes. She's doing shit. She blows one of them up. Everybody's like, yeah. And then there's another one. And, it's, and Storm's like, do it. And she's like, oh, no. Oh, God. Or whatever. Fucking hits him in the ass. Poof. Meanwhile, Rogue can't work a seatbelt. You ever fly Virgin America? And they're like, for those of you who don't know how to operate a seatbelt, it's Rogue, apparently. If you are from a backwater town in Mississippi where your parents live on a tugboat, you never use a goddamn seatbelt. Let's do it's a, a seatbelt quick. Point I'm going to show you Rogue. Those I'm going to show you a seatbelt for the first time. Sure. What do you say? Oh, Bobby. <laughs> exactly. Well done. <laughs> anyway, she's blown out the fucking back. She's falling. Nightcrawler sees her. Pa -pa 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 goes, gets her, comes back cool in. As fuck. Then he just drops back in. And he's fine. It's like, oh, yeah. you gotta grab well, something. It's, right, it's uh, evened out, the pressure. Oh, okay. Good call. I bought, Science the, Kev. Th this was, by the way, it's like I remember this scene. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to when I'm re watching this because I remember that scene being so fucking rad in the movie theaters and this I'm happy to say this was one of those scenes that was well done and, and still held up yeah. because they didn't do there was, there's like a moment where it kind of goes silent as they're falling you just hear the wind it's bah, oh, bah, and it's just in yeah. I'm like yeah. that was fucking yeah. that was dope and powerful was that was really one of the cool. coolest uses of the power ever so then now they're just falling the plane's falling all hell's gonna break loose there, there's a cool shot where Maybe Gene or some, somebody looks at w Logan. And it is very much like a, a silent thing of like him being like, this sucks. I'm the only one who's going to live. You, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. not going to die here. You're all going to fucking die around me. I was like, that was a really good job of acting without talking. But guess what? They start balancing out a bit. Things are happening. They're going to they're fucking the butt starts reforming. Yeah, it, like yeah. literally when it starts reforming, you're like, oh, it was an asshole all along because it looks like a butthole when yeah. it reforms. And then it comes down and guess what? It's Magneto. Fucking cool. Honestly, I thought that shit a great was scene. awesome. Yeah. Mystique standing like next to him, them being fucking cocky as hell about it all. Magneto sure. in most of this, great. Like, yeah. all his scenes are like, yeah, I want more Magneto. True. And yeah. thank God that Magneto just happened to be standing in that section between Boston and New York and knew that, of course, his powers that couldn't reach from here to the green screen <laughs> where the plastic prison is. But, uh, you know, he just knew the... I'm so glad that just God intervened and put him in, in, in the same thing. Maybe he was uh, flying along with them and we didn't see him. Yeah, that's Fuck probably you. it. What was he doing with, Ma with Mystique? He was holding her hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was on his back. <laughs> he took one of those little metal dishes and put her on top of yeah. it. And she gets to flow with it. Yeah, yeah. So they fucking land the jet. The jet's there. This is where we get a whole bunch of expositions. Great. A lot of cool stuff. Character the development. It, this character is like, development. we're going to stop this movie for some character development. Exactly. I like, like this I'm a lot. For it. Exactly. They're out in the woods. Long. They're having a conversation. <laughs> Nightcrawler goes up in the tree to listen in on what they're going to do. Uh, Magneto He's and trying his hardest Mystique. To impress. No. Did they, Mystique already get the papers from Stryker's office? Yeah. She got she it went early. There. We missed that scene. Yeah, she went there. Okay. She got it. Lady Deathstrike saw her for two seconds. She pretended to be a fucking uh, 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 janitor. That was cool. Then she saw the janitor. That was cool. He was so scared. They're building another Cerebro. They're going to kill all the mutants. We got to get up to Alkali Lake. I'm over and there's nothing there. You're a fucking moron. Next time, just don't look at the front door. Go downstairs. There's shit there, you dumbass. Oh, fuck. I'm over it. Uh, then they, uh, the fucking jet had like 90 tents in it, so we just have a bunch of tents that we can put up. Great. That's fine. Um, um, Jean Grey comes down from the X-Jet at one point. Uh, Logan's there. Mm. They kiss there, right? And then yeah. you're like, oh, you know, like... Yeah, she's kissing did. him a whole lot of times. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. Yep. Yeah, no. She's like, oh, no, you know... Girls. Really? Married it, woman. And it's just literally, like, the oh. worst, like... Saddest, <laughs> like, oh no, you know, like you're you're the bad guy, you're the bad boy, but we married the good guy, and I married the good guy. It's like, wow, that's a fucking shitty way to talk about Cyclops, your husband that you love. But okay, whatever. Yeah, you, all right, cool. Logan's all like, me. I'm Logan. Yeah. The Logan. The Logan. He goes back to his tent. Uh, I feel like there's something happening with Rogue here. She was in the, the jacket. I like the jacket on her. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Jean Grey comes back in, starts getting it on with the old the, uh, the old Logan Another there. Hot scene. But Logan does the thing yeah. where he lifts up her shirt. <laughs> Three little marks. Guess what? It's Mystique. I remember you from X1. Yeah. Mystique starts going through the different things she could be for him. Do anything. Because he's like, what do you want? She's like, you know what I want. I'm like, damn. I fucking, fucking bang out. Logan. Yeah. You're supposed to be fucking Hot. Logan. You so know what I mean? I'm talking about Mystique, man. Then she turns into Striker, yeah. and I was like, is this where it turns? This is where Logan's like, that is what I want. Yeah. No, Gia looked not. over at me and was just like, man, I wish, I wish that you had that power. And I was like, Man, okay. Don't say yeah, that. No, that's, that's cool. That's really but, lame, but I was there, like, ever since then, I've been thinking, like, what would she turn me into? Ask her tonight. I'm going to ask her tonight. And then tell us I'll the more you know on X3. Call her right yeah. now. It's uh, not a bad idea. And then Mystique <laughs> leaves. That's great. I'm so, something probably happens here. Mystique actually a 70-year-old woman at the time. Like, legitimately. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. old. Yeah, she's old. Yeah. 
Uh, we're just going to say we go to Alkaline Lake now to fight it. Uh, yeah. We spillway. go up there. Yeah, we're up the spillway. That's happening. They are outside. They land the jet. Inside, Striker's torturing some kids. Uh, he's got his Cerebro ready to go. He's going to kill a thing. Of course, he has Xavier oh, down there. We've right. probably done a bunch of flashbacks I've forgotten there where it Jason, really right, the kid who was Striker's oh, kid, right. mm, who's, they the, reveal. who's the fucking uh, juice they're putting on everybody's neck, he's there and he's got different colored eyes, but he's not his son anymore. He's just like fucking farm of all over the place. shit. I whatever. do like that that's where the juice comes from. Yeah, me too. Is that where the juice comes it's from? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's his brain. One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking uh, I think that's the big metal thing they have down there. They're draining him of it. God, it looks painful. It's a living nightmare for Jason. Yeah. Shouldn't have killed his mom. Yeah, he put those thoughts in their head. Yeah, but I mean, he like, tortured both of them for years. Yeah, granted, punishment. It's not even, you know. But uh, this is the expedition. We get somewhere yeah. in there of like, yeah, yeah, why we why we hate mutants so much. I think he's talking to Xavier at one point. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because we got it there. Of like, where's Scott? Oh, the weird little thing in his head. That all happens. We meet the kid. The kid was a former Professor X student, but like, yeah, he came home and fucked with the parents, yeah. and you know, as we all would. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Give yeah. Me, yeah. Where are the Nintendo controllers at? Why are you hiding them from me? Exactly. That's I'm gonna what fucking fuck yeah, your it's brain. A That's what I would say. It's a Wednesday, but I want to fucking play Maximum play? Carnage. Yeah, yeah. Play. Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Don't take that shit for Maximum Carnage. Green know, jelly, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we get to the place. We land the fucking thing. Hey, Iceman, Pyro, Rogue. You all seem like you could be helpful in this mission, but stay back. We're gonna They're go young, dude. They could die. Fuck off. All these kids uh, could die. There's kids inside that could die. Wolverine's Wolverine inside. Could Jubilee's inside. Wolverine can't we gotta die. save Jubilee. No, Wolverine can't die. Well, he can't. Obviously. I digress. Uh, we go in there. We're gonna do some stuff. How do we do it? He won't kill Logan. Uh, then, you know, well, we won't send Logan. You know how to operate a spillway. All right, whatever. We send Mystique in as Logan. This is a cool scene, I think. She walks in, uh, submits to the handcuffs, but she's Logan. And then we walk in, and fucking Stryker walks up, and he's like, mm, there's one thing I know, it's my own work, and that's not it. And he leaves, and then fucking she does like the... And like, again, the fuck fucking crazy flip. Do we, do we have to... I mean, we can bring it up again, of again, what are Mystique's exact powers? Yes, she can shape shift. Great. She can also fucking fight. No, I think she trained to be an assassin afterwards. I think know? so too. That's but last, fair, last but week I got my ass beat for this shit. It's like that's weird. She crawl up walls. When did she crawl up walls? X one. X one. Yeah. We had a whole discussion. This about one this. she didn't though. She does a crazy <laughs> kicks. Does all the stuff. Go ahead. Fucking runs. Gets through. Gets through the spillway. Flicks them off as she slides. That was cool. I like that. That was yeah, dope. That was cool. Do you think it hurt her to slide because the ground? No, because like weird sliding like fucks up your pants. The sliding fucking was like, ugh, but it's all dumb. very kind of. Slick I also in just there. think it's bullshit that he recognized that it wasn't really Wolverine. Well, he, she well, wasn't acting like Wolverine. Yeah, that's the thing. She wasn't. I acting, think even you know? in Hugh Jackman's performance yeah, of the speech, yeah. yeah. he, he, yeah. he yep. comes off very much like. Yeah. That's not, I think that's you're being unfairly biased. Why is he being so passive? It's like to be an actor like Nick and I do. All right, we emote, or or Tim or Kevin. You know what I mean? When you've been in a fucking Lego video game, you can come to us and talk about acting. Fucking shut your mouth. All right. Well. <laughs> 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 so Mystique's on the inside and she's fucking turning dials and knobs and fucking turning on water, turning off water. A big problem I have with the rest of the movie is that it is so good is that it, it doesn't just end takes immediately. so long. Yeah. Yeah. It's Again, like, welcome to the next 40 minutes of this if movie. If you took that 40 God, minutes, we're only halfway We're inside movie. the goddamn it's, dam. All right, great. Can now, we just uh, skip uh, to the head? A fun production thing. Uh, they had to shoot Professor X's Cerebro set before distressing it to show Stryker's oh. like all messed up dark version. Yeah. So yeah, it's like that was the same set. That's cool. That's cool. But it did. Uh, when I saw that, by the way, I was like, why did you make this look like it's fifty years old? If you j like, if they had just built that, why did it look like it was fifty years old? Because it's got to tear people apart, man. Normal wear and tear, man. And they're in a they, they, were just they, they were building it. on the cheap. They were just like, how many components do we need? Great. Use the old steel in the back. From the dam. That's fair. I also I, I did mm. like that they all like the panels ended up being like computer chips that they could rework yeah. and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's very interesting. The fact that like Modular. just moving the yeah. panels makes it do different things. I thought it was but visually like, different what it uh, is to calibration. Do. But yeah. it, you also need uh, Xavier to be thinking about humans instead of yeah. Movies. But they got him to do that eventually. It was like yeah. and he's like I, just, I don't. And this is why I like the plot so much. Is right. that I think that the, the bad guy's plan of like, oh, we're going to use Xavier to mm -hmm. do Cerebro yeah. to find the mutants, then kill them all. Mm -hmm. Fucking awesome. And then the eventual Magneto twist. Awesome shit. I thought it was really cool. I also like that it worked out with Mystique where she comes in as Stryker. And I'm like, oh, because I was like, how are they going to get? Oh, that's right. She can yeah. be Stryker. Cool. That Mystique is like a, she's mm -hmm. like a Swiss Army knife, man. Yep. She can just she's do a whole dope, bunch of man. shit. She was great. She was great in this shit. movie. Also, though, it was interesting. And I don't I, Maybe I'm reading too much into this of like, did they not 
at this time, and maybe even now, I don't know. Did they not trust like Rebecca Romaine Stamus to be an actress? Because I feel like she has very few lines. Yeah. And even sometimes she talks and it's just other people's voices coming out of her mouth. It's like, huh. It's possible that she wasn't all that great. I mean, she didn't do a ton of films. She did this in like Femme Fatale and then that was it for her career. So and I get That's fine. I'm not, knocking, I'm not knocking at all. I just thought Damn it was shame. This I thought one she was okay in the scene where she was herself. Yeah, I thought that was pretty No, okay. exactly. Well, she's doing like that country accent. Well, oh, oh, my eyes were She nailed it. Bashful. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it was that as much. It was like they need to show her powers. Sure. And, like, be, and in the same way, I thought she every was great. time Storm does anything, they need to telegraph the fact that she has weather powers. Give her those milk eyes. Give her that five second like... Moment. Wow, you crossed Why your eyes. Cross you your eyes. Yeah. She that's what she you the camera can't, can't even you see you. See they don't see it. That was for great. Yeah, give it for me. I loved it. Love you. Thank you. Um. So yeah, we're in here for an excessively long time. Uh. Fucking. Yeah. We're turning dials. We're opening doors. This is happening. We're turning off the fucking electric on the kids that was going off like every five seconds. So like Blinky couldn't sleep and Jubilee had his not sleep. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh. Logan comes in. He's gonna go after fucking Striker and Lady Death Strike. Oh, he takes out his earpiece because yeah, he's going rogue. All right, not rogue, but he's going rogue. All right, fine, whatever. You have to uh, assume at some point in their lineage he has gone rogue. If you know what I'm talking about. I hope oh, so. Jesus. God, no. She gets a little older. She you did 18. the wink. Yeah. You, you're doing it to me now. <laughs> you can't see it. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> did you see <laughs> that? Don't say so that. Many, so Cyclops yeah. finally shows back up because he's got to earn his day rate. And guess what, everybody? He's been possessed with the dot on his God, neck. So he starts fighting Jean Grey in the damn room. And they're shooting. And he shoots. And she's got the fucking Phoenix eyes. And bam, she blasts it all. And it blows up all the fucking dams. And it hurts him, too. And they, her knee gets bent the wrong way. Which looks like what? it's really broken for a while. Her knee? Yeah, she like falls down I and gets bent. Yeah, she has a limp the rest of the movie for no the, reason. The fucking, just like Nightcrawler, though, the uh, the blast, uh, Scott wakes him up. He runs up. I'm so sorry, she. I'm so. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I'm a dumb piece. But the fucking thing, Striker, Striker, who's just, by the way, with all due respect to everyone involved in this, Striker just acting circles around everybody this entire movie. Yeah, he's killing He gets it. the water on his killing glasses it. and takes them off and does this thing. And they're like, oh, oh fuck, no. the dam's gonna explode. Oh, no. Again, as I called out, ballpark an hour and 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Striker is just wandering around the fucking facility ordering people to do things like you have other second you have second command no people. middle manager he doesn't micromanage he, no, you know he what does I mean? micromanage he only micromanages anyways uh, Logan fights Lady Deathstrike when he meets he goes down and has a good scene with Striker where this is where you were born kind of shit and like what we did to you and he has the flashbacks to it and he's like yeah you know I thought you were one of a kind but I was wrong and then fucking Lady Deathstrike comes in they start fighting he scratches her face it heals he's like oh no she's fucking got way more fingers than he does they're fucking stabby 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 fingers. fight 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 <laughs> <laughs> Everything's happening. You know what's going on. He kills her in the most brutal fucking way. Yeah. Dude, what a fucked up man. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was really pretty, cool. pretty cool. But like, someone who's just been brainwashed, we know that. What do you we want to do? We oh, saw. We saw Good him point, pour Kev. the acid in her <laughs> earlier when she was starting to wake up with Professor, and yeah. she was like freaking was out, really like, "Where sad. the fuck am I?" Yeah. And how does she die? Fucking adamantium to the stomach Drowns. that pours out of her eyes, mouth, and ears. <laughs> yeah, she, Kelly Hughes' character really got the. I think it's Kelly Hughes, right? As the actor, mm -hmm. she really got the shit end of that whole. With thing. all due respect, I agree with you as a viewer. Yeah. But like Logan doesn't know that, and like, how's he gonna? What's he gonna do? He doesn't know it wears off if you punch him real hard. He doesn't know. Yeah, that's the thing. And, well, of course, now yeah. we're playing fast and loose with the rules, of course, because she's been punched real hard and stabbed yeah. real hard. Yeah. She ain't waking up. You got to do something. But I, and also, an interesting, Tim, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of foreshadowing how they kill Wolverine in the comics. Don't worry, everybody's back. But, like, Logan dies by adamantium as well. I'm not familiar with the That's how he dies. With the 616. Yeah, that's how he dies. I'm familiar with the ultimate line. They case line. him in, like, adamantium, and he dies. Huh? In the ultimate series, it's a mix of, like, Cyclops and... It's really uh, fucked up. Magneto at the same time, and it's yeah. fucking great. Cyclops wasn't Why doing it on... In the universe? He wasn't no. doing it on purpose. Uh, Magneto well, did he have switched. the dot in the back of his neck? No, no, no. Oh, Magneto mm -hmm. switched it where he was looking oh. and then pulled out the metal. Oh, fucking man, it was Magneto. fucked up scene. Oh. It was really I fucked wanna, up. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, that's all happening. I got an update from Gia Harris. Oh, God damn She it. has some couple options here. Elliot Stabler. From, from fucking SVU. Yes, from SVU. Not not Chris uh, Mahoney or whatever his name is, or Maloney. Chris Maloney. I that think is that Chris is Chris Maloney. Yeah, but she wants Elliot Stabler. Yeah. She wants the character. She doesn't want the general or whatever from Man of Steel. Yeah, she doesn't want the dude from Wet she Hot wants, American she Summer. Wants she wants Elliot Andy, Andy, a good death is its own reward. Remember that? Mm. A good death is its own reward. It was oh. such a memorable scene. Man of Steel. Oh, right. When he's fighting yeah. Fiora. You yeah. remember Fiora? a great movie, dude. I got Emmy Rosum. Oh yeah! Oh Rossum. shit! Yeah, oh, like Andy hasn't talked to the show. From <laughs> That's the girl from Shameless. The okay. main like okay. character, Idris Elba. Uh, oh yeah, Idris Elba. Obviously, obviously, naturally. obviously. Naturally. Um, and then she says, "But please let me sleep on this before laminating it." 
And just, to be honest, I take Re- Rebecca Romaine out of Blueface. Wow, yeah. Now yeah. I'm sending her back. Cool. If you had this power, I'd make it Greg. Do it. No. <laughs> Do it. I like how you had to think about it. <laughs> Anyways, all this shit's fucking happening. Striker's going to run away and be a bitch. Logan runs after him. Right call. Oh, no, Logan's leaving. Yeah, no, they, Logan, no runs Logan runs after, after him after and like, him. ties him down. Tie, gets him before he gets, ties him on the helicopter, sure. If we go, you go. Uh, fucking bitch Bobby and bitch Rogue are there, and Pyro's like, I'm, I'm sitting in the kid's table. I'm going to fucking go. Don't go do you, you always do go. what you're told? Yeah, I'm, 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 fucking, I'm still wearing sandals and pajama pants. <laughs> they fucking got leather outfits and all this awesome it's shit. It's out there. Yeah. <laughs> he walks out of the fucking thing, and then... Uh, Oh, meanwhile, yeah, we're going to kill all the mutants. They were going to do that. So Professor X goes, well, I'm going to kill all the mutants. And all the mutants are like, and they all drop. They all and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And then uh, Storm, no. No. Exa- uh, 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 Magneto was got to the door right as this happened, but he had his little mental shield on. He rips open the doors. He goes in there. He stops it. And he's like, we have a change of plans. And he's like, oh, fucking kill all the humies. And he moves all the shit around in there or whatever. Uh... Back outside, yeah, you're going to kill all the humans now. And that starts going. Strikers at the helicopter. So, oh, oh, like we can see all the humans going. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Prof- the professor's like, oh, yeah, the fire rises. Fire rises. <laughs> Everybody's fucking getting fucked up. And then, uh, uh, fucking, uh, what the hell? How do we get what out of this? At? They uh, like, they don't they put him on, they take the helicopter and leave him on some like wall. We're not there yet. Are, oh, no, you're right. Yeah, you're right, I guess. Magneto and Mystique and Pi, uh, Magneto and Mystique go to the helicopter. They find... But I thought we already turned off the bad stuff. By well, now. you turned off the bad stuff, but they... No, no, no. It's still going. But the dam's really? still breaking, and Wolverine Somebody goes, turns off the bad stuff. Who stops Xavier from killing all the humans? Oh, Storm and uh, Nightcrawler. Yeah. They get there, teleport right. me in. I can't teleport unless I see where I'm going. And he's a vampire. I trust he's a vampire. You. Yeah, she and he doesn't. And I really feel like, again, not enough information is giving where I'd be like, have you ever been to a planetarium? That's what's in there. Give me five feet in, seven feet up, and we're cool. And he's like, oh, that, that, thank you. That's helpful information. <laughs> Instead, they're like, hug me and say the fucking Lord's Prayer. Dude, the I, did, I never thought about it. Like, that's yeah. what he meant. Like, he had no idea what it looked like inside. Yeah, am I jumping into, we had a, all seen am I jumping into a coat closet or a gymnasium? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah good point. Giant on? ball. Inside a it's, giant sphere. There's so much. He ju- like, they jump in, in there. How are we going to stop this fucking weird-ass mental people? We're going to freeze them out. So they freeze them out. Right. Nightcrawler now again knows the room. Knows the outside. Chooses for no he, reason to sit no, there and be cold. He couldn't see... Ex- oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I'm going to... Nightcrawler's like sitting there being our like our thermometer for how cold it is yeah, in the room. It's very cold. Exactly. Because yeah. the little girl who's actually the old man... In the, or not the old Which man. The, so the creepy. middle-aged man. Right, 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 yeah. right. Anyways, they freeze him out. They stop him. Hey, we're not going to kill everybody. Hey. They're going to get everybody out. They all start leaving. You're right that, yeah, Magneto runs into Hugh Jackman, or not Hugh Jackman, uh, Stryker. They, instead of tying him to the thing anymore, they tie him up to a wall really aggressively, but also not like killing him. It was like weird. But they know the water's going to kill him. It looks really painful, though. They know the water's going to kill him. They get in their helicopter. They're going to leave. They see Pyro. We don't know what happens. But yeah, Pyro gets in the plane. Great, they or the helicopter. They leave. Uh, Hugh Jackman has fucking fucking snail man again in his arms. Fucking snail tongue, dude. I don't know why this getting this, this kid. You know what I mean? Who's, who's he fucking on set? Exactly. Who to he get all this way at the top? Time. He slept his way at the top. Uh, they all run out of the fucking spillway. Great. Oh no! And they run to where the helicopter should be. Helicopter's not no, there. It was oh, here. There. It was here. Oh, Wolverine. Oh. And then guess what, everybody? Rogue and Bobby decided to grow a fucking pair, and they're doing something, which is flying the plane badly. Crashing into the fucking ground. Should have taken the class to they tell you to come fly. up. They're spinning. They crash it now, but they get there. Great. Whatever. Uh, everybody gets on the plane. Hooray. Huzzah. Come on. Like, Storm's like, oh, let go of the fucking wheel. We got it from here, Rogue. Oh, uh, yeah. Huzzah. Huzzah. And then uh, <laughs> uh, they're all, and then like uh, Wolverine's running with Snail Kid still. And then he sees Striker and he walks over with Snail Kid. And, uh, oh, and like, it's like, a, I feel bad again because again, Striker acted circles around everyone in this movie, mm. but now he's got to act like this. They're like, it was so freaky how they pinned him up against the wall. Wow, man, they really took away your movement on everything here. But he still delivers a great yeah. thing of like, hey, like who, I got answers. These people mm. got nothing. He's like, I'll take my chances with this kid. Turn Didn't around. cut him loose or anything. Just was like, all right. <sighs> like, if you're going to kill him, just kill him. Don't. Yeah, you know what? Don't let him drown to death. Yeah, I don't know. Or get well, like, you're mad at him. Because he tortured you. Yeah, but even though he says you signed up for it willingly, and we'll find out about that later in X Men mm-hmm. Origins. Mm-hmm. Anyways, oh, they all get on the thing. They're going to leave. Hooray. And here, you want to talk about a bad scene in this movie. You want to talk about a bad scene in this movie. Yeah. Here's the worst. Mm-hmm. 
We get them all in the X-Jet. We need to take off. The water's coming. The waters are rising. The waters mm-hmm. are not going to recede. And what we do is literally every X-Man stands around like my father would do if I was trying to have him fix my computer. Where even Wolverine's like, oh, this thing doesn't look right. And then like, Nightcrawler's like, oh, I don't know anything about it. And they're all like, oh, dee, do, 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 do. Even Rogue. Even Rogue and Bobby in the back are like, well, I've used the CD-ROM. And that. And meanwhile, that Jean Grey can go, do, 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 do. And they can oh fucking God. leave. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? But Jean Grey is able to fucking escape. Even though Professor Xavier's sitting there. I guess he's worn down. I don't fucking know. He's yeah. an old guy, dude. She gets outside, and she's like, guess what, everybody? I'm going to fucking kick this thing in the ass and stop some water, because I'm the Dark Phoenix. I got to save all my peeps. Mm-hmm. And again, they're all, I don't know, they're all, like, pointing at shit. Like, literally, like, if you were in a cartoon, and you were, like, getting ripped off by a mechanic. That's what yeah. every X-Man in the fucking scene <laughs> is doing. Or literally every time I go to a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Professor X is like, Jean? And like they're all like, huh? oh, maybe if we were all st- Wolverine, Wolverine, the Civil War era dude who just drinks beer is like, I don't, it looks like your altitude isn't right. Like, what? <laughs> He's just reading random shit. It's like when the fucking streaming computer doesn't work and we send Jared over there to talk to you. Nobody knows what's happening. Anyways, yeah, Cyclops is like, Whoa, I'm no longer distracted by this thing. I have nothing to do about. How did I afford all these cars? Nobody knows. He turns to run and Gene shuts the fucking thing. And then Gene. Turns on all the instruments. Yeah, all the power is happening yeah. now. And you're like, wait, what? So what's this? What's the problem? Yeah. What's mm-hmm. going on? Like things happening. But still, even though it's being got fucking powered, back. not even yet. She's like, I'm gonna fucking struggle. And I'm like, again, I understand that this thing can do Boston to New York in roughly 19 hours. Yeah. All right, but you can get it. it. It can fucking take off, but yeah. maybe it can't. So she gets it, start going. Then the water comes. She's stopping the water. She's doing this thing. Then. In a weird fucking move, she takes over Professor Xavier, Very who creepy. shuts his eyes and he's just like, Scott, <laughs> goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I love you, Scott. Don't worry about me, Scott. No, I was like, I, don't say you love him. All right, you didn't. And like, don't kiss him, Cyclops. All right, you didn't. <laughs> Whatever. The fucking thing goes up. She gets smothered in water. Everybody's freaking the fuck out inside. And immediately looks like she's gone. She's gone. And you, you, he's like, oh, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We got nobody. She's gone. I mean. Is she gone? Can yeah, we just, it just happened. Nightcrawler maybe jump down there and see if she's still alive or whatever. I don't what know. An easy he was blocked for the first part. It's one of those things where you start to think. Cool. There's a couple of things that I thought when I saw the scene. One, if she can turn all the electronics back on and lift the fucking plane, why can't Done. she do that from indoors? Has to protect her from the wave. Or probably protect still herself it. up while she right. goes. Probably sure. can still do all that stuff from indoors. So, uh, dumb scene to begin with. Two, uh, let Scott Cyclops go out there and let's just end this whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, let's just end these fucking stupid characters together. They can die together out in the water. And again, because I feel like he what, could have shot the water full yes, blast. Thank you. That's what he does. It's let's what, say I'm was, on a uh, plane with one Jean Vier Saint Ange, and we are, we have mutant powers. She goes outside to do it and closes the door, and I fucking propulsion eyes. Fuck you, Marvel. I go and blast concussion. it. Per, co- I'm sorry, <laughs> concussion. concussion That's way better. Mm-hmm. Concussion the door down. Concussion? Go down. Concu- like. I'm gonna go wide and tall or whatever and just burn just right. do that. I don't or, know if he has like the dimension. God forbid. Oh, but he, oh I'm sorry, he doesn't have the dimensions, like, but he can burn. moving his head. So he can blast through concrete, <laughs> yeah. but he also has the ability to hit you in the chest <laughs> and not hurt you and knock you down. Do it again. But he doesn't have the division. <laughs> yeah, I don't No, but you're or, falling or, for God this forbid. fucking anti Cyclops bullshit. No, we, he's use, awesome. we use the person that can literally make four hundred tornadoes in the in the air to just propel the water back. Like the the master of wind, weather, and all the elements. Is just like, I don't know what to do here. Also, apparently, Blinky Boy doesn't sleep, can blink channels, and can play basketball, so he's got to be able to do something out yeah. there. <laughs> this was sad Sweet because it was, it was one of those situations where I was, when I first started watching, I was like, oh, how are they going to get out of this? Maybe this is an awesome opportunity for the X-Men as a team to act like a team and do something really cool. That's someone outside. Oh, the okay. X-Jet finally got here. Like, yeah. What the fuck? At the I've start of this video, sound. it started flying here from San Mateo <laughs> no. and just arrived. But it's one, of the, it's one of those things where I remember seeing, like, by the end of this, when, when Cyclops was doing his rant. Like, no, you don't say that. You don't say that. Well, I was like, God, I wish they'd fucking kill that character. Yeah, God, I wish they'd kill that character. And what are they? Like, I think I don't think I was the only one because literally when X3 starts, they just off that motherfucker, so like, great. right off the bat. And so but he was barely in X2. Yeah. 
The whole thing is so fucking dumb. But it's my, so um, weird. The big problem with Man, I didn't have a Jean, Jean Grey dying. No problem at all. With Jean Grey dying, <laughs> you were I'm just like, where did Andy. this come from? It just like we see her freaking out a little bit in the museum, and then it's like she just knows to kill herself. It's like I don't she know. Well, she, she knew she could some, save There's everyone. something about it towards the end of this movie where I'm like. Her doing what she did, I'm like, that is so not earned. It just happened. It's the you know, it's it's the whole thing with the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, stuff. it was setting it, just it all does, up. It's yeah. trying to set it up, but it's you don't know, like if you didn't know what the Dark Phoenix was because you hadn't read the comics or watched the cartoon series, you'd be like, what the fuck is happening? None of it's really set up. It should have been this should have been all set up for her maybe dying at the beginning of the next one and coming back. It was just weird. Yeah. Like they knew what they needed to get to. They just they just never got there. It's, really it's the same sure with how their, to get the to whole it. relationship, the, the love triangle. They're like, we kind of, we're just going to jump into that. We're not so going to set this up. So they take off. In a lot of ways, I just want to say that the Phoenix death, Jean Grey dying and seeing the Phoenix and all that shit is like the first time we saw a post credit scene yep. just wasn't post credit. Sure. Sure. It was the first time they're like, a uh, superhero movie, at least, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like, we're building towards the next thing. Mm-hmm. So they take off. We, I don't know, Fade to Black, maybe, I don't fucking remember. Uh, Striker's dead. Death Strike's dead. Uh, Magneto. I don't know. I'm recapping. He got away in the M-I-A. helicopter. Yeah, like Mag- no, Magneto <laughs> Helic is in with Pyro and Mystique. They're gone. And Kitty Pryde. And Pride. then we jump to <laughs> the, the White House. Everywhere. We jump to the White House. Oh yeah. Where the white the president's going to give an address and say like, hey, you know what? What's up, America? We're you know about to go against to war basically. What's up, fucking, America? How's it going? What's up, America? That's me. And uh, he's not happy with the language. They're walking in. They sit down. Three, two, Do one, like go. This word in He's like my fellow, yeah, exactly, my fellow Americans, and then like a storm rolls in, the power goes out. He's like, "Are we still on the air?" Everybody's fucking frozen. I don't think a president's ever asked, "Are we still on the air?" No, you know what I mean? well, I don't think it's ever happened this way before. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Not that the mutants we know have if never <laughs> invaded. A and president. so then the mutants show up. There it is. It's all the X Men in the room with the other people, and it's Charles Xavier being like, "We're not here to fight you. This is not what it's about." Like you know, people are trying to pit us against each other. That's not what this is about. We can work together. You know, we'll be watching. They say here's the paperwork. He makes some kind. Of, yeah, he throws down the striker stuff. Of like you got you got bamboozled. You know what I mean? Like and the, the president, in who must be you. You called him an idiot, but I'm going to call him a genius because with just one little quick skim through of this document that may or may I've not. I've never be, seen this. This this document that may or may not be falsified. Nick, I'll it's tell just you a what. stack of papers with a blue Nick, cover on them. If he everyone, was like, wow, I didn't know this was. I'm sorry, I'm clearly on your side now. Nick, if everyone freezes. The lights turn off, and mm-hmm. there's suddenly a group of people. Great point. They give you a stack of paper. Like, you look at it. You're like, "Whoa, oh, this is shit. new information." <laughs> Checks out. This Checks is some out. shit I hadn't considered before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna consider it right now. <laughs> you know what? You're making a lot of good points. You're making a lot of good points. I see a <laughs> terrorists in my office. Yeah, people who just randomly materialize into my office uh, somehow. But now well, this is the question you yeah, raised uh, earlier uh, at the start, hour and fifteen minutes ago, was just the idea of. Cool. What is the what's happening? We've already seen that time continues on. Mm-hmm. So I assume the the power went out enough and dimmed the lights enough that the power actually browned out. I think it was all just in his head. No, I think, but I think, no I think, okay, that's what I thought too. Until you remember, he has got the paperwork. The on his paperwork desk. on his desk that wasn't there before. Right, but you would assume that Xavier has the ability to put. Like, I don't think all of them were actually in the office. My I brain, do. Xavier, was like, "I'm projecting this into your brain. Like, here are all my I people. Do think that that's we're how good people." And then maybe midway through, Nightcrawler was like. Just no. kind of snuck but it again, in. Again, there's no. smoke kind of and the smell. It there. smells like I, rotten here's eggs. I, I, I'm honestly, what I think happened, it was me. No, when, no, no. when he teleports. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, I smell like rotten eggs. Why would it be you? No, what I think happened is, hey, we're gonna freeze time. We're gonna come in. Yeah. We're gonna say all this shit to you, mm-hmm. President. And we, when we froze time, we froze time for everybody. The world. Everyone. No, just in the room. This is the problem. I'm I'm fucking NBC and like the fucking power goes down so for like this. seven minutes, whatever, while the X Men <laughs> wheel in, deliver their message, and then freeze. I think they froze the president to begin with, <laughs> Wait, and then the did it, and then left, and like, then fr- you know what I mean. That's what he would have been like, right? He's just like, no, it wasn't live. <laughs> no, they just fr- they freeze the whole world, right? Because no, they didn't they freeze the whole world. Just say it wasn't live because we proved freezes. that in the museum scene when the phone call still. Thank goes. you. It's just whoever's in the room. He doesn't have that much power. But he could freeze the whole world if he was in. No, Cerebro. he couldn't because he couldn't he even fucking tell Cerebro. Scott he was in the fucking. I thought, it was a li- I thought it was a live broadcast, wasn't it? The whole it point? was. Yeah. All right, so let's be very clear. But just wouldn't it be so weird for the people in the room to see the president, like maybe looking down at well, something, no. and then all of a sudden he's like <laughs> in a different frame? Yes. It's like, this is a but weird they, frame so jump. Don't you think it would be they weird have- for everybody watching live? Because it's going to be the power goes down, and then what they want you to believe is the power comes cool, back right. up, and the president suddenly has a blue folder in front of him. CNN? Anybody? 
Put that They'd shit be like, on YouTube, What the fuck man? just happened? Yeah. Thanks, Cool Greg. No, no, and I'm good now. Why was there? Huh? Why was Rogue there? Yeah. These people, now who, by cool the way, ice, now they're cool X-Men. Have never been trained to do any of this stuff. And clearly shit the bed every fucking step of the way on this journey. They handled as best they could. They're high school kids. They're you know? useless. You could leave it them. Could have just been X. Could have been what? Just Professor X. Yeah. It. Yeah. Sure. It should have been. But it this is cooler been. to show force of like we are an army and we'll yeah. kill you. Yeah. Hey, FYI, True. we really want to be your friends, but but clearly but anyway, we've got fifteen people that will kill that's you. That's wrapped up. Let's go back to the X Mansion where we're all gonna cry about fucking Jean Ooh. Grey some more. Mm -hmm. All right. She's dead. She's Clay. dead. This happened. Fucking Cyclops is barely holding together, which I get, Scott. I'm with you. Don't get me wrong. Jean Viev dies in some damn accident. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, so but much. then yeah, Logan does the whole. Oh, she chose you. She made a choice. Like I again. Just like, yeah. I'm gonna no, melt she, your face. She made the choice when she married yeah, me. Why asshole. are you suddenly acting like work? Cool. You were never a, a part of this equation. Yeah. You're trying to fuck her <laughs> yeah. way after the fact. It's really whatever. creepy. And not a cool friend move. Yeah, it'd be like if Idris Elba came after Gia and be like. If Idris oh wants to fuck Gia, we're both watching that I'm happen. I'm fuck Gia. Jesus yeah. God. Are you really? Yeah, I you let him fuck Gia. Dude, yeah, he can fuck Gia. Cuck number one. You're going you're gonna to go in number two after that? Cuck no, man. Cuck, <laughs> cuck <laughs> man number one. Anyways! Before we wade any deeper into the YouTube comments, uh, what happens next is that uh, then Professor Xavier's like, well, no, I'm just going to teach a class. Doesn't matter that one of my students died. Blah. And he brings all these fucking Teacher. kids in. And I think, I think uh, uh, no, he, she was a student of his. Oh, yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Sorry, same. <laughs> and then Jubilee comes back in. She's still all like, pop. Hey, I got electrocuted oh, forever. And I saw Blink Boy <laughs> fucking get all fucked up. I don't like that they just threw the name out at not one firework. No, dude. I forget. Does she show up in like. She's in Apocalypse. I've never seen Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I've never seen any of them. There are two X Men movies I've never seen. Which one? The Wolverine and Apocalypse. Oh, oh you wow. know what? I fell Same asleep here. through Apocalypse. You've never seen The Wolverine? Mm -hmm. Somebody asked You're recently, too, like, we're watching theatrical cuts of all this, right? Because there's the road nope. cut of We're whatever. watching road cut. Oh, we are, are we watching the road? I've never now, seen it. Stop, stop, stop. Me neither. Is it X3? What? No, I can't remember it's which one. No, Road Cut stays the future past. What I, I want to propose right now, and the table can vote on it, is that we watch day, for different weeks. Days of Future Past, theatrical. Days of Future Past, they're not different. From what I hear, they're not different enough to do that. <laughs> can we just YouTube <laughs> the Road Cut differences then? Road Cut differences. I want to watch. It. I've never seen. From what I hear, before. Road Cut is a better movie. I agree, and I that's but what I, that's what I hear that too. Many differences. But don't out. people love Days of Future Past? Yeah, yeah. So it's even better than the one yeah. that everyone loves. Puts a lot of context in. It. Like she, they literally cut her out of the whole fucking movie. It's weird. But yeah, it's because she was going naked all the time. Who was it? Was it Anna Paquin? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> 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 Anyways, Professor X looks out the window and does this weird grin. Where it kind of, what I always read from it at the time, Licks I'm in the theater, lips. Greg eating my popcorn, or I ate the popcorn a long time ago, but I'm in the theater watching this, and I always read, oh, he felt Jean Grey's presence, mm -hmm. yeah. that she was still out there. Yeah. And then we cut back to Alkali Lake, where there's the fucking Phoenix logo in there, and it's Jean Grey giving the fucking soliloquy from the start of X-Men 1. Yes, it is. And everybody's like, Woo, there's no way they can fuck up X3. <laughs> it's going to be the best movie ever. <laughs> oh, man, I remember wrong. and this is uh, the only time this has ever happened. I mean, I guess now nowadays we do what we do here. We talk about movies we love. We go to movie theaters and we see other people like pink haired girl that get to talk to us about movies we love. She's the name. But back, in, I, don't, I don't know her name. Uh, but That's back your in, fault, pink haired girl. Back in the day. Joey! Back in the day. When I first saw X2 twice at the Alexandria Theater, like I said, yeah. there was one time I went to. Excuse me, Tim. Yes. I won't insult our fan base like you do. What's pink haired girl's What what is pink haired girl's name? Uh, it's Sarah. Sarah. Oh wow. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. How are you? I was She's gonna guess great. Miranda. Yeah. You'd be wrong. You'd guess wrong. I was at the Metreon Theater. I was checking out the PlayStation Store, trying to buy a copy yeah, of Parappa the Rapper yes, on PS1 because they reissued it. And I walked out, and there was some dude that walked up to me that I didn't fucking know, and he's like, "I just got out of X2." Have you seen this movie? And I was like, I did. Wait, like, a random week, stranger? Random stranger. I was a fucking 13 year old boy. It was weird. Like, like, he was hey, probably man. 16. I'll tell you about him in the men's bathroom. <laughs> and he, was, he was like, dude. I need you to check something out on my like, leg. Do you know what's up at the end of that movie? And I was like, no, I actually don't know what happened. I'm dying, Parappa. And he was like, they're getting up to the fucking Dark Phoenix saga. They're about to do this, blah, blah. And I was just sitting there like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but I was so into it. And it was like, that was the first moment that I realized superhero movies, they're special, man. Yeah. These people fucking care. What, Greg? Nothing. That was a great story. I, for real. Okay. And I'm not being sarcastic. Uh -huh. yeah. But I also did the thing of like, oh man, it's 207. It, glad this movie, this video is over. And then I was like, oh wait, no. We just ended the recap. Right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 
here's the thing. Joey gave me a challenge. He's like, do you think that we're going to go over the 215 runtime in this movie? Fuck. And I was like, it's 100%. No 100%. Way. No, no, all we have is, give me another beer. We're going to no. be here all what night. What are you talking about? We have Ragu Bagu and we have the fucking ranking. We know where this shit no, ranks. To be fair, I need, we need to talk about it how it takes Greg 15 minutes to go through the fucking list of Ragu Bagu every time. Can you just read? Ragu Bagu, go. Da 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 da. Ragu. Da 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 da. Make it a bagu. I want you to know there's nothing more that I love than the fact that you hate Ragu Bagu. And then whenever so we bring it up and you hate it, then you have to do the fucking video. <laughs> I fucking hate, hate, I hate the it. Fucking voice I hate that you do the list because it's going to just get longer. It's What's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast within the podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside my Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. What's up, guys? Welcome to Ragu Bagu Vids. We're talking about rad guys talking bad guys talking bad As guys. you know, you can go to patreon.com slash kindoffunny. For a cool $69, you can tweet whatever you want from the Ragu Bagu Vids Twitter account. Joey, how many people have hit us up on that so far? Zero. Zero, Joey says. Sweet All right. Zero. Well, just again. No, I think she was doing like A-OK. -okay. As long as it's not <laughs> super racist or like anything else we find offensive. You can do it, six nine bucks. Let mm -hmm. us know, mm -hmm. and you yeah. won't get your money back if it is racist. No, once you, yeah. yeah. Uh, so starting from the bottom, oh gosh. number twenty one, these fucks Thor two, and again, I just read what's on the list now. Number twenty, Abomination. Number nineteen, Ronin Guardians. Number eighteen, Cross Ant Man. Number seventeen, Loki Thor. Number sixteen, Obadiah. Number fifteen, Mandridge Ald Aldrich. Number fourteen, The Vision from Solo. Number thirteen, <laughs> Mass slash Dormammu. Number twelve, Magneto Brotherhood. Number eleven, Rockwell Mickey. Number ten, Red Skull. Number nine, Ultron Ultron. Number eight, Hydra Captain Colin Wee. Number seven, Ego Guardians Two. Number six, Hell slash Grand Mast from Thor Rag. Number 15, Loki Avengers. Number 4, Bacon Guy Civil War. Number 3, MBJBP. Number 2, The Vulture. Number 1, Thanos, AIW. Now, we're talking, of course, about Stryker. Stryker. William Stryker. A good good villain, Andy. Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. Lady Deathstroke. Stryker. No, do we have to bring Stryker. it down because of that? Yeah, no. you might have to. No, they come definitely on. definitely fucking part she of the She's like a fucking... She's only she's just his henchman. She's, she's just his valet. She's, yeah. minion, she's just his valet. Is that how you say that when you do it? That's how uh, Colin first said it. Strikes in, in the name. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a good like fucking thing. Strikes in the name. She should be in there because we have... No, she's not... Dormammu bringing up Matt Nobody. No, no, no. Nobody... They were different villains. Oh, no, I guess they weren't. They were... Nobody said her name. Nobody knew who she was. Name. She was a weapon, dude. She, yeah, was, they, she was the saber tooth of this. She's on the marketing saber -tooth material was not on as the, the bad guy. She's no, the bad she's guy. not. She is, yeah. Yeah, but a lot henchman, of people are on henchman number one. Um, I feel like it should be we counted saber -tooth. above Red Skull. Okay, above so, right, Red Skull. Ten, ten right now is Red Skull. So you're saying he should? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nine yeah, is actually just where I was going to put it. I love a. Uh, uh, Oh God! What's his fucking name? Jack. From the blacklist, Who Hugo, plays Hugo Weaving. No, from the blacklist, James Spader. James Spader. James Spader. I was going to say James Franco. Good. James Franco, not in any of these movies. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. I hear you. I don't, and I'm and going I, more from a performance <laughs> perspective. You know? well, well, from a performance perspective, I think Stryker's better. Stryker Stryker's should be way up good. on the list. Stryker should be above Loki. I think. Number five, Loki from Avengers. Hell, there's no. I, here's what I'll say. <laughs> I put him under. I don't think hell. he's better than Loki's Avengers. I don't think he's better than Hella Grandmaster. Awesome. He's better than Ego. His motivations are so much better I, than all these people. I no. think I like Ego uh, better, plan, and I think that I would put him it. beneath that at eight. Hydra, so great. Let's Hydra, do that. Hydra getting pumped down. Let's okay, do that. I'm fine right. with that. At this point. <laughs> Are we ever going to split them up at any point? I feel like we've gone too far. Science has already combined them into one yeah. beast. Yeah, no, no, no. We, they decided they wanted to uh, uh, combine it into one beast. The only problem is Deadpool was not included in that. It's because Tim likes to cut corners. Yeah. I wasn't there. It, it wasn't Tim's fault. I blame us. We were tired. What? 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 He's trying to not <laughs> hit the so goddamn much. All right, we have three minutes. We don't have a. We don't <laughs> have. You're never gonna make it to write this fucking movie. Cool, Greg. Can you pull up the ranking? We thing? don't have it. Cool, Andy. We're gonna make there's it. only one on there. All right. Well, <laughs> then yeah, I guess next week then we'll start this. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. Uh, Wait, where are we gonna rank just make it? X two X Men United? In number one, right Me, I this agree. is a better than this is a better you movie than X Men for sure. So much better. Yeah, I do think that this movie is way lower than I expected it to be in my mm -hmm. overall ranking at the sure. end of all this. Sure, but spoilers though, it's not gonna X three is not gonna usurp this. It's gonna now, stay the up thing. there. I'm gonna put something out there for you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hate you. I hated last night when I first saw it. I watched half of it last night. Fuck you. No. No. 
It's the so end. So far, no, it's but it's the, it's the end half that really fucks it all up. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. so far, That's, the first half of Last Stand, Tim, I was like, this is pretty decent. Tim, yeah. I want you to know, I just watched Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, and like not like seventy percent of the way through, I was like, "This is not as bad as I." And then I was like, "Oh, that's <laughs> look at them swinging we'll in the there. things." But until we get there, we'll, we'll save. Yeah. Where would you rank the Crystal Skull? Or 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 get to Shia LaBeouf swinging with monkeys. Really. I really like, like this that movie. It's gone off hill. Oh, it's Hella too. Wow. Yeah. Kate Blanchett. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Love her, Nick. Yes. Yeah, oh, I go number one. Yeah, for sure. Number one. Yes. Easily. Yeah, this is clearly the best. <sighs> I and guess because it's, it's not one. a bad no, movie. I just, we're giving him a lot of shit. I don't like just, this movie, so I'm gonna put it as number one. But did you think? Did you like X Men more? I mean, watching it again, no, they're both awful movies. So this one, I guess, is less awful. I fell asleep through X Men, big chunks of it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't fall asleep as much. Tim G is calling. You. I'm okay. I'll call take it back it. later. I know. I'm take not take it. Ask her what it is. Tell her who you want. Take it right now. Because we have one minute and seven seconds left until we are longer than X2, X-Men United. So I'm going to cut it off here. Done. Because I don't want that shit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here for XCU in review. Next week, we will be refuting. What? What is it? What's Did he bump his cut or is he is he doing a bit? <laughs> doing a bit. Don't make me laugh in the middle. I hate, I hate this so much. <laughs> Next movie is X Men: The Last Stand. What a lot of people say is the worst movie in this franchise. Tim, Tim, we'll have to figure I it out. I said I'd never forgive you if you did this. Oh, no, make, Tim, don't make him take a shot. Don't make him take a shot. Cut the beat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>